forgot to unmute us. Hi, everybody. I forgot to unmute us. I'm sorry. Welcome to Clockwork Cantina, episode 50. Uh, hope you're doing well out there today. Sorry about that. But, you know, you know, things things happen. I, I am recording. I just forgot to hit the uh, unmute button. <laughs> hello. Hello, everybody. I uh, uh, hope everybody out there is doing well today. And you're probably all watching the DC fandom, because I think that's what's happening right now. Um, it, de it definitely is. I'm, I've... Uh... I've been trying to keep up with what's going on. Um, so right off the bat, I'm probably going to say that we're not going to get everything that they, you know, mm -mm. we're, we're not going to cover everything that they announced today because, you know, there's going to be, there's too much. It's still going on right now as we speak. Yep. That being said, however, uh, we do have a couple things that I've seen already that look pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we'll cover the rest of the news that we missed today next week so in case you're wondering why we don't cover it here that's because it hasn't been announced yet and we don't know about it but we'll we'll, we'll for sure cover it next week don't don't uh, don't worry about that we'll, we'll talk about it for sure damn right but before we go any further we should probably say who the hell we are i am one of your hosts josh 902 and this is our other awesome badass probably one of my bestest friends host who are I you I am DT3. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I was just waiting. I was like, I, you know, anyway, I'm DT3. Hello, everybody. What's up? I got to give my boy on? the introduction that he deserves because he's awesome. It's very, it's very kind. Abs of absolutely. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I got my coffee here, gang. I don't know. I don't know how many of you are coffee drinkers, but I, I like a good cup every now and then. Um, help give me a little bit of that caffeine. So we got a we got an awesome uh, show for you today. We're going to be talking about the Hidden Fortress, which we watched uh, this past week. I I don't even think I've ever seen a, a Kurosawa film, so this would be my first one. Or if I have seen one, it's been so damn long I don't even remember seeing it. So it's practically the first one. Um, Hell yeah, for man. all purposes. Um, but before we move into the news and stuff, which we usually talk about in the first half of the show, we're going to talk about what we've been up to. Uh, up to this past week, besides um, besides watching the Hidden Fortress, Daniel, what have you been doing this week, man? What have you been up to? Um, been playing some Fall Guys, of course. Been playing some Overwatch. I finished up the third uh, weekly thing for the Summer Games. Played a little bit of World War Z. Uh, played some some of that weird ass game, Jazz Punk. I beat it. It was uh, it's very weird, very strange, very mimi. <laughs> Uh, what else have I been up to? I, oh, I, f I tried out the Avengers beta last night. What do you think about that? So. I want your honest opinion, because I'm going to give mine too. <laughs> all right. I had fun with it, dude. Like, I, I, I only played, like, I, I got through the, you know, the, 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 the main stuff that, that it, that, that you have to get through, which is like the, the first mission is like the A day thing, right? Where it's like, oh, here, you start off as Thor, and then you play as like, I think you go to, you go to Tony next. And then from there, you go to, I want to say Hulk and then Cap and then Widow, I think. I think that's how it goes, something like that. But you play through like some of the Avengers first mm -hmm. and foremost. Um, and uh, that was pretty cool. And then after that, you play a mission with with Kamala and uh, and then Bruce Banner. And there's a few things that you have to get through first before you can like do multiplayer, which is what I was trying to do last night. Because mm -hmm. there was a few of us that were playing it last night, and we tried to, uh, you know, we, we we tried to we tried to team up and play play a thing together. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I. I enjoyed it for the most part. Um, one of my like things that I had that I was like gonna be that I was kind of worried about going into it was kind of like the combat and how that was gonna be. Um, I could see it probably the, the thing that I could see with this game is I could probably see it getting a little repetitive in the future. But for me, since it was like so new and I had just played it, I was having a blast with it. You know. Mm -hmm. um, I, I could definitely see how it could get repetitive though, because like once you go to the war table or whatever, because I did get the war table unlocked last night or whatever, and I did manage to play a mission online. But you basically have like the war table, and here are these missions, here are these missions, and like you know, you you, you get like 
the main thing I guess for me is gonna be like like the goal basically of the game, as far as I can tell right now so far, is that you just have to grind for gear, right? Mm-hmm. But like what what like what's what's the what's what's the reason like it, it kind of brings me back to like the whole thing of like I, there was for a time that I played Destiny 2, right? Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh well let's let's do this uh fucking what are they called? Uh I don't want to call it a raid, but like you know when you like have a group of people and you all go attack the you know, go do this thing that takes a couple hours or whatever, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, like kind of like a dungeon. I yeah, guess. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll call it a dungeon. I forget what the hell they call it in Destiny Two, but we'll, I we'll, did we'll, too. We'll, we'll go do a dungeon or whatever, right? And it's like to grind for better gear. But what the fuck are you grinding? What's the why are you getting better gear for? For the other dungeons, like it's yeah. just a never-ending cycle of getting better gear. Watch for, the end game here. The, yeah, yeah like like what's yeah exactly. So that's kind of like my thing right now with that is like I don't I'm not sure what you know what 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 the point. Of, of you know what 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 the gear stuff is like, so that kind of has me a little bit like you know, but I don't know. I I I hope that with like future updates and stuff, they can kind of um get a little bit. We can get a little bit more clarity on, on like what what the end game is with the, with that kind of stuff. But I will say though that yeah, I mean I, I was kind of worried about the combat, but I had fun. I actually had fun with the game last night, man. I I, I really did. So mm-hmm. that's. That's kind of how I feel about it right now. But that being said, I am very fresh on it, and like the, it's very recent. So I, I'd, I'd be curious to see how, um, you know how how I how I'll be with it like after the freshness goes away. But anyway, uh, go ahead. I know yeah. you got some thoughts on it too. Um, so I played not this beta weekend, but I played in the last one, um, because I had pre-ordered the game because I wanted to, I wanted to check out the beta weekend. And I didn't want to wait for the open one. I bought it on Steam. That way, if I didn't like it, I could get a refund, which I did ultimately get the refund uh, for the moment, which is it is it necessarily because I didn't like it. I had some fun playing the combat, and in particularly, I liked Kamala Khan. It was a lot of fun to play. I think she looks really cool. I think she looks great. Um, uh, my concerns are also kind of with the end game of it, right? Like, um, I want, I, like it's going to be, I feel like a lot of those missions might repeat. I'm going to see a lot of the same stuff uh, over and over again. And, um, you know, I I only had fun playing certain characters. For example, combat on some characters feels way better than combat on other characters. So, for example, in the opening mission, you mentioned um, Cap and Black Widow. And when I played uh, and played those two characters, their combat feels really good. And I really enjoyed playing it. I like Thor. He was pretty cool. And I liked Iron Man. The one I didn't have a lot of fun with was Hulk. I didn't have a lot of fun playing Hulk. I did, and and there's something else that, for me, is also missing in this game, which is I'm just missing. When Hulk hits something, I want to fucking feel it right here, right? Dude. I want to feel it. Okay, so I, that's kind of how. Okay, I love Hulk. He's probably my favorite of the like Marvel heroes or whatever. But. I was like, dude, how is this piece of shit robot with a shield hurting me, dude? I'm a big ass hulking green dude. Shouldn't mm-hmm. I be able to rip this little shit in half like real easily? And 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 again, I understand it's a game and you have to like kind of balance it somehow, whatever. I'm just like, man, this is some bullshit, dude. I should be able to fucking wreck shop with this dude, man. Like, what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, and uh, like yeah. his his attack should have some oomph behind him because he's fucking yeah. the Hulk, dude. I, if I'm playing the Hulk. I don't want everything that fucking hit me to feel like a pencil, and when I hit something, I don't want it to feel like a paintball gun. I want to feel it. I want yeah. to fucking really feel it. Um, so that that kind of bothered me a little bit. That's a that's kind of a minor thing, and I think it's a thing that could also easily be fixed, right? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it can gear sure. gear grinds are a lot of fun. I, I play a lot of games with gear grinds. I play World of Warcraft. I play fucking Diablo. I play Path of Exile. All that shit's grindy gear grinds. That's fun. That's great. Uh, so I don't have any issues with that kind of stuff. Um, the move sets are pretty cool. You got to unlock uh, as you level up. You unlock a bunch of them, and they, and they do different things. I played Iron Man a lot in the last beta. I um, because Thor he, wasn't available. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he. I really had fun with him too with Iron Man. 
it, it was it was really fun playing playing as him, and it was fun watching the Baba struggle as him. But but anyway. No, what not. I what I really liked about him was just how he can swap. He can have fucking missiles. He can have lasers. He can fucking have rockets and all these these badass. You know, Tony Stark has these things moves, mm -hmm. and I think that stuff is cool. But what really makes me cautious more than I was, uh, and probably will make me wait for a sale of it, is um, and I did have fun playing the game. But I have to ask myself: Did I have fun playing the game because the game was? good or did i have fun playing the game because i was running around with jake right like because that's mm. the other person i played with yeah you know and, and if i had more people to play with yeah it'd probably be more fun but at the end of the day you know, my friends aren't always going to be available to play so if i'm playing solo i need to be able to have fun kind of solo too of course yeah, yeah um and the thing that worries me the most is just the possible repetitiveness pre repetitiveness of the end game right like mm -hmm. i'm sure the story's probably going to be great um yeah but they're, I, I they're selling that, this like, as a yeah go ahead no no sorry to interrupt but i will say no, that like good. i thought that the the, the 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 story stuff seems pretty interesting like that one level with like i said with with kamala and uh and uh and bruce i thought that stuff was mm -hmm. pretty interesting um and yeah i mean i i the the in terms of like having fun by yourself, I was having fun by myself. But I will say that one thing that kind of annoyed me was like when I was playing alone, and you had like the other three NPC companions or whatever, like with you. I was trying to do one thing, and then like my 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 uh, my companions wouldn't follow me. Yeah. So I, I would just go to another place, and I'd get my ass kicked by the entire you know. A bunch of enemies because fucking nobody would be helping me out, dude. They'd all be like in one spot. And I'm like, well, come on, man. And then also, I was playing as Black Widow on this one mission. And you know those doors that you have to like manually open with like the Hulk or whatever? Yep. I could not open one because I was playing as Black Widow. Mm -hmm. And the fucking Hulk was just standing there not helping me open it. I'm like, <laughs> he come on, open bro. Yep. Like, what are you doing? So I yep. think I, stuff like that they need to fix because I'm like, dude, if. If you're not gonna like, if you're not gonna let me open it, like either let me switch as the Hulk real quick and open it, or like let him fucking open the door. You know what I mean? Because like, there's there's a very easy way to here. fix that too. Like all you gotta do is add a little action that you can hit there and be like, "Hey Hulk, take care of this," and he smashes the door open. It's yeah. that easy to fix, right? Yeah, like, yeah, for real, dude. Like that's all they gotta do. Like, come on, man. But I mean, anyway, sorry, I, I interrupted your uh, what you were saying. Go ahead. No, you're good. You're good. Like you hit on some good points because I forgot about the door thing, which which was which happened in in my solo game last last time I played. Um, was also a thing that I wasn't really a big fan of. Um, ultimately, I, here's the other thing about the story. I, I don't know. Have they said how long the story is going to be, or any of that kind of stuff, or that as you know far of? As, as far as I know, I don't recall seeing anything that they've mentioned in terms of the story i i don't got you i haven't seen how long it is or anything maybe they have but i just i just haven't seen anything you know? yeah and that's another thing that I, i'm sure the story will probably be good yeah but how long is it going to be ultimately and they're and they're right. going to add stuff eventually obviously because that's yeah. it's a live service game we already mm -hmm. know that they're they have like a bonus uh hawkeye stuff that's not connected and then playstation is getting the spider-man stuff too so they're, they do have extra things but but yeah but the, how the long length is, on release is kind of what worries is, me right how long is the base story is what you're asking yeah yeah which is yeah which like is what great, am i getting good question yeah what am I getting for my sixty dollars, right? Like, what am yeah, I? Exactly. Is, is it going to be worth it to me? In in the, at release, I'm not saying I'm never going to play it. I will play it, but at the moment for me, it's a, I'm going to wait for a sale, um, a game. Um, it's very pretty. It looks great. It, it ran fine for me. I did it run good for you. Oh uh, yeah, I would. I, for the most part, I would get like occasional like. Like when I would hop into like an elevator or something, like the game would get a little laggy and like you know frames would be all weird and stuff. But like for the most part, other than that, oh, I did have one problem where like I like loaded into a level. I was playing as Black Widow, and for some reason I couldn't like attack or use my guns or anything, so I had to like reload the level. 
but l- fortunately i fortunately i noticed it like right at the beginning so i didn't have to like you know go you know go back too far or anything but like yeah it was really weird but for the most part it ran pretty pretty decently i would say yeah yeah um but yeah that's kind of like my big concern with it and and the reason i got the refund it wasn't cuz i hate it i don't hate it i'm just worried about like I have other things that are coming that I'm interested in playing, right? Wasteland 3 is coming. Uh, Crusader Kings, the new Crusader Kings, it's going to be here really soon. Uh, The Kingdoms of Amalur remaster, remake, whatever it is, I'm interested in it. It comes out soon. That's money I could put toward those three things. That Some of them have bona fides, right? Like Wasteland 3, I've played Wasteland 2 and and the other ones. Uh, Crusader Kings, I've played. I'm watching it very closely. They're doing streams of it. It looks like a lot of fun. And and Kingdoms of Amalur, I tried way back when it came out, and that's something else I'm super interested in. Cyberpunk is also coming down the pipe. Yes, that's correct. Boba pointed that pointed that out in the chat. I just don't know if the price point for Avengers at this moment, at release, a full sixty price dollar game, right, is going to be good enough for me to be like, all right, which one of these other ones am I going to have to chop the legs out from under for a little bit? Instead, I think I'm just going to wait for for a sale. And, yeah. and 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 I also kind of want to see how it develops as it goes along, right? I want to see a roadmap. I want to see how things develop. Because you can say one thing and do something completely different. It happens all the time with game development. So I want to see how they... I want to see if they listen to their criticisms that they get. I want to see how they handle feedback and stuff. You know, that's I think that's a, that's a good way to do a live service game release kind of like this. You know, they got to make sure they listen to people and, and, and have feedback, which I'm not saying they're not or anything like that. It's just things I want to, I want to see. Um, yeah. Those are my main concerns. So I am going to probably, I am going to wait a bit, you know, unless something, unless it's like everybody's playing it and they're having like the best time. And I'm like, fuck, I want to be with them kind of deal. Then, you know, it could happen. I could be a complete hypocrite and end up buying it on release just because I can't. I want to. You know, it happens. But these are my main concerns at the moment, anyway. Like, sure, yeah. uh, uh, hey man, we're, I, we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're we're only human, man. You're allowed to change your mind, right? It's fine. Yeah, yeah. And I think we did bring up very good points to both of us, even though we're on opposite, uh, not opposite sides. But you know, you're seeing the way that way is, and I'm looking at it this way. I think we both make really good points. So. Yeah, so mean, if yeah. you if you watch Again. this and, and our opinions hinge your your response to buying the game, I'm sorry, but I think we both did such a good job. We're gonna have a hard time. <laughs> well, I mean, listen. Well, to be fair, also Josh has a little bit more time with the game, and I'm like, I only started playing it like last night. I played a, I played several hours of it. I think I played like four hours of it. I think something like that. I, you know what? Hold on, let me check my scene real quick. Yeah, I I played. So I, I did like the beginning stuff that they yeah I did four point eight hours so almost five hours whatever gotcha. I did I did the 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 beginning missions that you have to do like single player by yourself and I again for the most part I had I had a lot of fun um there are some things that I mentioned already with the NPCs and like you you know there's there's a little bit of stuff in there that I'm like yeah I, I definitely like I, I see like the concerns or whatever but like. I think to me this game has potential. Um, mm-hmm. I just hope that they, you know, um, they go about it the right way. Um, because I will tell you that regardless of whether or not I get it at launch, I will be getting this game eventually. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I had enough fun with it to say that I will for sure be getting it. It's just a matter of for me. It's the only question is do I get it at launch or do I wait? That's that's the question for me. Because I will be getting. It. I had a lot of fun with it, man. I, I can't wait till like I can, dude. I, I cannot tell you how much fun I had whooping asses, ca- just tossing cap shield around and like beating the shit out of dudes with cap. It was it was fun, dude. Like you just, just and yeah, and then cap, too, cap dude, was a lot of fun. I had, yeah. dude. I was like fucking like crazy laughing, fucking tossing Mjolnir at these motherfuckers with Thor. Yeah, dude. yeah, and they're holding them up against vehicles and shit yeah, until you dude. call it back. That's really cool. That was a lot of fun. I agree. Yeah, so there's stuff like that that I really enjoy. So I hope, I hope that like the negative things they can like either resolve or like won't be as prevalent in the in the final game, and then they can just you know, since, since Josh like Josh said, since this is going to be a live service game, I just hope that they you know they they go about it the right way because we've seen plenty of live service games that don't, and and this is and this is like a the. 
it's not like the first proper Avengers game, but it's like it kind of is, but it isn't at the same. I don't know. I, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's like it's like a it's it's an Avengers game. So you know, anytime like they do something like this for like any of these like kind of kind of games, because we know historically that like movie. The games based off of movies are pretty trash, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> and not to say that this was based off a of movie because clearly it isn't. Like, the characters don't look like Chris Evans or you know, uh, whoever the fuck else, like Robert Downey Jr. or whatever. They they like kind of they kind of did the thing where like let's mix the comic character and then the the, the MCU people and put them together. So kind of, but like, it's not. It's it's very clearly not the same universe, obviously. But you know, I just I just feel like every time they try to do something like this, they I don't know for whatever reason they can't they can't nail it. But uh, yeah, so f- just final thoughts to close this out has potential. I liked what I was playing with yesterday. I need a little bit more time with it also because again, I only have the like the almost like the four hours that I played yesterday. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm uh, again, I, I will be getting this game. It's just a matter of of when. You know, because like, yeah. because also like Josh said, there's a shit ton of games coming out that I want to get to, man. Like, mm-hmm. one of them, like, there's, there's, there was only really a few games that I was looking forward to this year, and Avengers is one of them. But like, and then like one of some of them are already out too, like Final Fantasy, which I still haven't played, but I mean, I, I want to get that eventually. I still need to get that. Tsushima, we both already played, loved it. I absolutely love already. it. Glad, glad to have that. Um. There, there's other things like cyberpunk and like just like dude it's a fucking the it, it's a new it's next gen year like we're, we're ps5 is coming out you know what i mean like there's gonna be mm-hmm. new shit coming out so there's there's a lot of things that are that are coming like soon that you know are, are you know you have to be mindful of and 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 you know if, if you want to get if you want to get them so it's just uh i'll i'll, I'll definitely be be paying uh close attention to this um I, I definitely need more hours um i only got to play one mission multiplayer um but i'm definitely looking forward to maybe trying some more out later today so there is yeah, uh, one thing i want to hit uh mm-hmm. just real quick it's a positive thing it's not a negative thing i think it's a very positive thing and anybody that's watched the podcast a lot is going to know exactly where i'm going to go with this which is yes they have the characters you know in this game for the most part I never knew who Kamala Khan was and what I'm excited for. And I think is a positive of the game is that it's going to introduce heroes that I might not never know. Now, Daniel and I have talked about this previously when we've talked about hero movies, right? Where, or shows or whatever, when it comes to superheroes is I personally, and I think Daniel does too, really likes learning about characters we've never fucking heard of. Like Shang-Chi has been one uh, I've talked about. Like I've never heard of Shang-Chi. I don't know shit about Shang-Chi and I really I'm excited to learn about a new character and new hero. This ga- uh, game has the potential to introduce you to those characters and their move sets and let you play as them in a video game and learn about them. And that I think is really cool. So I think it's great that they got the, your core of characters that are coming and you're getting some more characters that you know who they are. Yeah. But I'm actually really excited for who they put in this game. And, you know, I, I found the character I really liked right off the bat. I didn't know shit about her. Kamala Khan. Uh, awesome. Badass. Her moveset is great. She, she feels good to play. And it's just really cool to play as her. And I think uh, I want to learn more about that character, right? So um, that's definitely a, a notch in the positive column for me when it comes to this game and its potential. Um, I agree, yeah. Um, there, I, I, I knew a little bit about uh, Kamala Khan, but there's still obviously more that I would like to learn about her. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's also cool how like they have like there's like these collectibles you can get, like comics and like whatever that, that you can unlock like cosmetics and stuff for the characters. I think that's pretty cool, like the skins mm-hmm. and everything. So yeah, yeah. I mean, again, it, it, I I have fun with it. So I I I just need to see like what I I that that's gonna be a huge thing for me is is seeing how how long the story is gonna be. You know, because I. That yeah, I need to. They, they need to let us know how, how long that is going to be if uh, if they haven't already. So, yeah. Hell yeah, man. 
All right, man. We just spent like 20, 25 minutes talking about one thing and, and what you've been doing this past week. So what else have you been doing besides that? Brother? Uh, Anything? The, well, the final thing I will say is I've been watching the NBA playoffs. Um, uh, hell I, yeah. As you know, as as you guys know, I love I love basketball and I love the NBA and I've I've been I've been trying to watch as many games as I can. Like I'll have like I'll be like doing something on the side and then like just have the game on, you know, cuz even even like when my team doesn't play cuz I I'm I'm a Laker fan, so I, I watch, you know. I obviously watch all my team games. We played tonight, so I'm excited about that, but I've been watching just like some of the other games too that I'm not even teams that I'm not a fan of just because I love, you know, watching it so much and it's it's cool just seen basketball because basketball normally is not played during this time of the year this right now we would be in the off season yeah uh so it's weird like having basketball in august in, in august because it's usually like this is like we're, we're approaching like baseball season and, and whatnot you know so uh yeah it's it's, it's weird but it's, it's cool because weird. It's weird, but it's cool because again, it's not, we don't usually have basketball around this time, and also like because COVID fucked everything up months ago. We had it was a while since we've had basketball, so I've just been trying to, I've just been been enjoying watching all the games and stuff. But yeah, I've been watching that. that that's basically all I've been watching, apart from the Hidden Fortress. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What have I been up to? I haven't played much this week. Um. What have I played? I played a little bit of Remnant. Not a whole lot. I downloaded Seven Days to Die again because their, their patch dropped and I messed around with that for like an hour. Um, The diet has been going well. I've been feeling the effects of it the past, this past week a lot. And I say that in a good way. I've had more energy than I've ever had before. I'm feeling more confident than I ever did before. I'm losing weight. For those of you that don't know, I've lost like 18 pounds. The next weigh-in is Monday, so fucking pray <laughs> that it's still going good. Um, uh, all in all, I'm just I'm just feeling so much better. Um, just lately in general. So I just wanted to touch on that really quick. It's good. Um, uh, let's see what else do we have. What else have I done? I uh, I watched the Hidden Fortress with you. And I have uh, took some steps into a, a world I never thought I would actually st step into, I guess. It's a little weird. A little baby steps. Um, so I have gotten interested in... So, you know how we got D&D &D coming back this week, and I, I, I just for fun made a little tease to for the players, which had some voice acting in it for me and some little music and sound effects in it, just screwing around. Uh, which is something I've done in the past to kind of play around with when we played D&D. And I showed him to a good friend of mine called named Chris, uh, KT, Daniel knows him. He played D&D &D with us for a little bit. So if you've watched the D&D &D, yeah. um, streams in the past and saw those episodes with him guest starring there, um, you will know who that is. And I sent yeah. it to him just because I always like to talk to him because he's the person that kind of got me into Dungeons and Dragons a bit and kind of showed me the ropes in the early days many, 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 many years ago. And he's like, bro, if you like doing this kind of stuff, you should really check out um, audio dramas, or, you know, or radio dramas, things that, 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 that happened a lot in the past, but you can still find, uh, people still do them today, and he's like, yeah, you should really reach out and kind of do this stuff, because I think, uh, I'd be really, he said, I think you'll be really good at it, <laughs> who knows, kind of soap operas, a little bit, but, but more like action and noir and investigation type stuff, so, and I've, so I made some reels this past week, some, like, audition reels, of lo reading, it's kind of hard to do, but when you're by yourself a little bit, because you have to look up monologues for, like, solo characters. Um, so I made some of those and put them on my YouTube. So if you're interested in that stuff, make sure to check out the, my YouTube, which is youtube.com slash josh902. If you're casting for any kind of audio drama or anything where you need some voice acting, I got some audition reels on there. And I sent in an actual audition for a audio drama that's going to be produced that I saw. And I, I, I uh, tried out for a few different characters, recorded my lines, uh, and sent those in. Looking forward to... Uh, even if I don't get the part, the, the big thing that I, I want out of sending in auditions is just feedback on things, on how I can do better. Um, uh, that... You know, so I left a little readme note in there. So, like, please let me know how to get better at this. If it's something that uh, that you have take the time to look at, I'd really appreciate your feedback. Um, so that's something I'm getting super into. It's super nerdy. It's super 
goofy, super silly, but I don't give a fuck. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I'm gonna keep doing it um, as long as the uh, as long as I can. And it's something I'm gonna encourage Daniel to do too, because the dude can do voices, and he totally should. Um, <laughs> and then we'll write and co-star our own audio drama. Hey man, if anybody needs some voice work done, hit me up. Hell yeah. We'll see what we can do, you know. Um, let me check my Netflix to see if I have watched anything. Really quick, I'm just trying to remember. There's I, there's something on here I want to watch. I want to watch that high score uh, series. I haven't checked that out. Have you looked at that at all, Daniel? High score? Yeah, it is uh, a limited series. Hang on, let me... Let me look up the deets, details for, for you. Oh, God, it's playing. Stop playing. There we go. Mute that. Um, from Donkey Kong to Doom and Madden. Oh, goodness, it disappeared. Where did it go? Uh, this docuseries traces the history of classic video games featuring insights from the innovators who brought these worlds and characters to life. So I've been wanting to check that out. It's a Netflix series, and I think it's kind of made in the vein of, like, the toys that made us uh, kind of limited series that they have on there that I watched the shit out of, by the way. Mm. Yeah, Toys um, and yeah, it was great. Um, so that's something I want to check out. I haven't checked it out yet. I meant to, but then yeah, I got I some shitty news. I, yeah. I definitely haven't yet, no. But I just added it to my list as well. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, no, the last thing I saw on Netflix was Umbrella Academy Season 2. Yeah, I think that's then like the last thing I saw. I, I think the next thing I'm gonna watch is uh, Cobra Kai. Yeah, when, when they add it on there, so good. I love Cobra Kai. I can't what's wait that, to watch it. What's man. that drop? Waiting, it's the twenty. Is it it's this week? It's like it's like oh, this. Coming? It's like next week, next Friday, I think. Got you. I, I love Cobra Kai. I will always sing its praises. It's so good. Oh yeah. Um, I meant to stream this week, but. But things just, shit happens, and I didn't get to. <laughs> and shit happens for me a lot, for some goddamn reason. I wish it'd lay off. <laughs> Go bother somebody else. Uh, uh, but, but yeah, I think that's all, it, all I've really got. You know, I'm, I'm sure I'll remember something like I always do in, in the middle of the fucking show. <laughs> um... It's good. Let's uh, let's move on if you don't have anything else, Daniel, and start hitting the news because uh, there's more news dropping as we get there, along. There's, there's liter there was literally something else that I added. On yeah. Today, <laughs> while, yeah, I, while saw, I was we, looking at while Twitter we've been, while we've been talking <laughs> here. So, uh, yeah, let's get started on the news, man. So, as always, everybody, if you don't if you don't know, uh, if you're new watching for the first time this week or whatever. Uh, we always go through some news. So we start off with the gaming news, and then we go into TV and, and movies and then all that stuff. But here we go. So the gaming news number one uh, we, we have here. We, uh, Ghost of Tsushima has announced Ghost of Tsushima Legends, which is ah, yes. going to be uh, a multiplayer, a cooperative multiplayer experience. Um, this is something that... <clears throat> I've been wanting ever since I beat the game and like it's just something that like I feel every single one of these games should have you know what I mean like Red Dead 2 I loved you know uh it was a great uh, mo uh single it was a fucking phenomenal single player game and then like once you're done with it you kind of go online but it's like I want something where I could just team up with friends and just take on hordes of enemies, man. And, like, for Ghost of Tsushima, this is going to be perfect, dude. I can't, I cannot wait for this, man. Yeah, this I is something wait. we talked about, I think, when we talked about we Tsushima did. just a couple of weeks ago. We did. We definitely did. We definitely did. On our list of things we wanted. Uh, I have the trailer, announcement trailer for it up playing as well. So if you haven't seen this yet, it's short. It's only like a minute and some change. Yeah, so they give you like four legends and, you know, you get to, you get to fuck some shit up with them, man. It's going to be coming, great. Coming soon to dual streams near you, Daniel and I kicking the oh, fucking shit out of this. You better believe we're going to co-stream the shit out of this. I cannot, <laughs> yeah. I cannot wait, dude. It's going to be like us in Red Dead, man. <laughs> Again, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Sucker Punch, dude, again, for fucking listening. Uh, or 
you know, in, in, in adding this because I, God, I wanted this so bad, and, and now it's happening. So, yeah, thank you for this. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. It's gonna be so much fun. Hell yeah, brother! I can't wait. I'm super excited with this announcement. Very excited. Uh, but yeah, that's that's coming soon. Or it says sometime in the fall, so like within the next couple months, we'll probably get it. Yeah. Uh, summer's summer's getting almost over with, man. Like yeah, soon. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm very hyped about that. I I, I can't wait. All right. Uh, next up, uh, there was a an update on the on Death Loop, mm-hmm. which is the uh, the Arcane Lion uh, game. Uh, it's been delayed to quarter two, 2021. So they put out a, uh, a tweet uh, where they said, we made the decision to move the launch date of Deathloop to quarter two, 2021. Our ambition for Deathloop is to deliver an art, a signature arcane game that takes you to never before seen places in a stylish new world. At the same time, the health and safety of everyone at Arcane Leon uh, remains our top priority as we've adjusted to work for, from home, we found that delivering this new and exciting experience at the polish and quality level that defines both an arcane game and a true next-gen experience is taking longer than normal. This extra time will allow our team to bring Deathloop's world to life with as much character and fun as you've come to expect from our team. While we know this is the right decision for Deathloop, we share your disappointment and apologize for making you wait even longer. Thank you for your support and excitement. Your positive feedback has helped us, has helped fuel us as we continue to work from the confines of our homes. We cannot wait to share more details about Deathloop with you, so keep your eyes open for our next update coming soon. So just, you know, again, just another game that has been delayed. In, 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 in the year of delays, uh, just, just another thing that's been delayed. Oh, my you internet know. just decided it wanted to die, apparently. No. <laughs> I think we're back. No. I think we're good. It, it worked. It fixed itself. Hi. Cool. Oh. So yeah, Deathloop has been delayed in quarter two, 2021. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 goes into early access September 30th. Uh, yes, I, w- I watched this. I watched this live when they announced this. It'll be available through Steam and Stadia. Uh, yeah, they they had a live stream presentation on Tuesday with a ton of uh, info. By the way, it had a ton of fucking info. Yeah, so if you want to share some of that, go ahead, man. Uh, the big things that they showed were just like how they were getting ready for the early access stuff and how they talked about how because they they talked about Divinity Original Sin 2 that, because they did early access with that and how it helped um, how it helped refine the game in later parts as well. And they also showed off these really cool heat maps where they could watch as people um, ran around the first act. Have you played? You haven't played Divinity Original Sin 2, have you, Daniel? No. So it's divided up into acts, and they, they uh, uh, I think in early access they had Act 1 accessible. And you they could they showed a heat map where people would die a lot, so they'd know where mm-hmm. to adjust things there, um, and things like that. Um, some of the info they gave, uh, and they showed off some quests and some cool things like that. Oh, look, my internet dropped again. Um, but we're still recording, which is fine. Um... The uh, they showed off some some quest uh, um, some quest things that they literally had just put in the game. Something really interesting and also super fucking creepy. There's some super fucking creepy things that happen um, <laughs> that that's just nasty. Like a whole brain crawls out of a dude's skull at one point. It's gross. It's weird. Um. I mean, I, some, I can imagine because, like, I've I've seen some of the trailers and stuff that they've had, and yeah, there's pretty nasty shit going on in that. With the uh, fucking mind, yeah. with the mind flares or whatever, like, fuck all that, dude. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna look up exactly everything that they covered, just because I do want to talk about it because they did uh, things. So it's early access on September. No wait, hold up. On September thirtieth. Thirtieth. There it is. It's at the very end of next month. Um. So here are some of the uh, ancestries, as I call races. They call races races, but I call them ancestries, um, which uh, will have an impact on dialogue. So here's some of the uh, here's some of the ones that'll probably get added. Uh, they won't all be in early access, but there's humans, elves, half elves, 
halflings, dwarf, tieflings, drow, half drow. I know Gith Yankee are going to be in there and a vampire spawn. Um, I know they said that they're also going to limit the classes that are in early access to begin with. They're going to add uh, classes in very slowly. Um, but it has all the basics of fighter, wizard, rogue, ranger, cleric, and warlock. I never really understand why they don't put paladins in in uh, in these types of games. Um, they talked about some of the... Um, they, they compared statistics to uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 again, and what they said here... Like the, So here's some examples, right? So the number of combat encounters were 22 in the Divinity Original Sin 2 Early Access. In Baldur's Gate 3, they're going to have 80 combat encounters. Um, in Divinity Original Sin 2, they had 17,600 English dialogue lines. That's just in Early Access. Now in Baldur's Gate 3, their early access uh, dialogue lines are going to be just 45,980. That's a fuckload of words compared to the other one. That, um, or, yeah. or dialogues, rather. Um, in Divinity, they had 142 characters in just their early access. In Baldur's Gate 3, there's going to be 596 characters. That's insane to me. Um, the number of spells and actions in Divinity Original Sin 2 was 69. Nice. In Baldur's <laughs> Gate, <laughs> in Baldur's Gate 3, it's going to be 146. So what, basically what this is saying is this early access is going to be so much bigger <laughs> than even the Divinity one was. Yeah. And it was pretty huge. Um, um. Yeah, what was there was something else I was going to touch on. Oh, uh, during this live stream, they were talking about how um, what they want people to kind of do is because uh, statistically, most people like to play the good guys, right? Yeah. In these types of games. Uh, their big selling point for the early access is fucking be a villain. Be a villain just for the early access stuff because it's not going to matter. And, and you're, you're only going to meet some characters and you're only going to learn some dialogue options and and open up relationships with other characters hmm. by um, by being a bad guy, right? So what I was hoping was like, can I be a villain and then get a villain and then like a villainous character on my side? And then can I like redeem that person by becoming a good guy throughout the game? Is that something that's yeah. possible? I hope it is because that sounds really cool. And those, anybody that knows me and knows the stories I like to tell are redemption stories, right? Um, those are the stories that I kind of like. Was like this person has fallen, or they've gone evil, but now they're coming around. They're gonna be the good guy. They're the anti-hero, and now they're the hero. Those are my kinds of stories uh, that I like. If that's not a thing, that's still cool. I'll probably, I am probably gonna check out the early access for this because it's one of those things that's right up my fucking alley, right? So, yeah, um, yeah um, and I'm super excited for it because I really love Larian Studios. I loved, absolutely loved Divinity Original Sin 2. It, it may have been my game of the year that year it came out. I can't remember, but I think it may have been. i got to remember. It's been a while. It's been a while since it came out. Still totally worth playing today, too, by the way. Oh, and also, I think they did say that there's going to be... <laughs> this, is the, this is the Dragon Age fan in me. There's going to be romances. So that's a big selling point for me in games <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, of course. <laughs> You know, I, 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 you know, I, I love a good, well-written romance. I believe in true love still, so you know. Call me a fool. I give not a fuck. I enjoy them. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got to say on Bowler's Gate Three. I'm other than I'm super excited for checking it out. Uh, I'll, also, I don't think multiplayer is going to be an early access at launch. I think they're going to add it in there. So, um, okay. which I think I think they did say it's going to have multiplayer. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I, I I listen to so many things. I get my brain screwed up. Sometimes. Is it gonna be like Divinity Original Sin two with the multiplayer? I think so. I think so. I need to look up more details on the multiplayer stuff because I haven't looked at it too much. I've been looking at the like the Wasteland three multiplayer stuff where like you're fucking like it's more like just co op. It's like you and one other person because I've been talking about this with Phenom. Yeah. Um, where it's like a character can kind of go rogue in the world and do things when you're offline and. And make changes to your world when you're in a co-op game. So it's I get kind of shit a little mixed up, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be kind of like the way it is in in Divinity. Sorry, 
brain fart. Uh-huh. Also, another thing I think is really cool is that they have the Githyanki in here, and, like, the character... Oh, I can't think of what her fucking name is. It's kind of like, seems to be like one of the main, main characters. Um, which gets Yankee are kind of like, not underrated. It's just no, I don't, I never see a player, like an actual player in D&D play a Gith Yankee. Other than one, which I'm going to shout out MCDM's um, campaign, uh, where the, the player Phil, who runs Turtle Rock Studios, by the way, um, plays a Gith Yankee named Slim. Um, over there, uh, the Chain of Acheron campaign. Make sure to check that out if that's something you're interested in. Move. Yeah, I'm big, big fan. Big fan of Colville and, and MCDM, just in general. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got to say about the Boulder's Gate. I know I kind of... I yanked the wheel away from you, Daniel, and went running away with it. I apologize. You can have the wheel back now, though. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I mean, you, you watched the live stream, so, you know, I, I didn't. It was, you know, so it, it was good to have your uh, your thoughts on that. And, and and since you watched it, you know what what the hell they were talking about. So that's that's good. Yeah. Um. No. Yeah. I just wanted to bring up the yeah. But it's early access is September thirtieth. So, about about a month away. But uh, you know, time flies. So I'll be here in no time. <laughs> the stream. The stream was pretty hilarious too. By the way, just because um, like the 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 developers were like some of them were like uh. Dressed up in cosplay and super heavy oh, yeah. armor and forced to sit at a table and it was so funny. Uh, Sven uh, was all dressed up in armor and I don't think he could move out of his chair and it was super uncomfortable. It's it's just funny if you haven't watched the live stream, just go watch it at the start. Like it's pretty funny just to look at look at him. But if you want, if you're super interested in it, I recommend watching the entire live stream because this went on pretty long and they did show off a lot of uh, cool stuff. Cool. Yeah. All right, Daniel, what else you got, my man? Next up, uh, they're speaking of ad- adding co-op, they're adding co-op to fucking Untitled Goose Game. Uh, really? Which, yeah, they are. <laughs> which, I had no idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a little, little, little thing for you so you can put it up. So they're adding a new two-player mode on September 23rd, which, again, is about a month away. But this is a game that I haven't played. I wanted to play it just because, like, it's such a, like, meme like, just have fun doing nonsense kind of game, you know? Mm-hmm. And now that they had a co-op, I feel like this is going to be just fun to just, like, be an asshole with another friend of yours and, and terrorize nice. and terrorize mm-hmm. these innocent people, you know? These mm-hmm. fucking geese, the fucking geese over here just being assholes, man. Jesus. I think cool. one was bad enough. Now there are yeah. two. Yeah, right. I just think it's cool that more games are like adding like co-op like this, you know? Bro, I want them to. I want co-op everywhere. I want to be able to play games with my Same, friends dude. all the time. I want, yeah, I want multiplayer co-op in like every game. You know what I mean? Like if 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 it's an option, definitely do that. Like, you know what I mean? Like fucking go for it. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I need to play this game. It, it looks like it's just a fun, silly ass time, dude. So I definitely, wanna, <laughs> I definitely wanna wanna get it, man. I think it's currently. Uh, I think it was. I think it's a. Uh, an Epic Games exclusive, maybe, or, or is it on Steam? I don't know. Either way, though, it look it looks fun, and I and I and I wanna. And I wanna try it out eventually. So. Oh, actually, it's coming to Steam on the on the twenty third as well. So that's cool. Oh shit, that's so tomorrow. The, so, so the day of this update, it's it comes out in a month. The day of that update, they're at, they're the, the game is also releasing on Steam. So that's cool. Sweet. Yeah, planned release day. I just looked at Steam. Uh, September twenty third. So yeah, same date. Oh, tomorrow, September. By... Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, September. Not not tomorrow. No, no, no. I thought it was tomorrow for some reason. I'm dumb. No, no, no. no. September. Yeah. So like. Four weeks, a month, you know. I just added it to my wish list. All right, anyway. Oh, shit, that's not far away at all. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, this is something that uh, is, isn't, like, official news, but it's still really cool, and we like to talk about cool shit on here. Lord of the Rings Battle for Middle Earth is being remade by fans, and well, it I looks am. fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. Get that video up. There we go. It looks pretty damn cool. Um, 
it's it's like a 20 minute video so we're not gonna watch the whole thing but no, josh, we'll, we'll, yeah josh I'll will just him. skip through it and show you guys like how like if you're into like rts's and you and you like lord of the rings which you know we talked about middle earth last week uh yeah. check that out check that episode out uh but yeah, this game looks cool, man. I only played the second Battle for Middle Earth. But uh, looking at this, I'm like, dude, this looks fucking awesome, man. I I, I love when the like when when like the official people don't re- remake or remaster the game. Fans take it in their own hands to do it, yeah. and they and like when it turns out as good as this, you're like, dude, man, just fucking. Just fucking hire them to do it, man. Because look, look at look at the amazing work they're fucking doing. Like the detail, dude, down to like the units. Like you, you like scroll in to see the units, and you can see the detail like close up and everything. It's fucking amazing, dude. Yeah, I uh, I played the original and the and the second one, and I loved them both. And I think the I think the second one had an expansion pack too. Yeah. Uh, for the Witch King, and uh, uh and. And the thing I think I remember the most about this game was just doing the Battle of Helm's Deep <laughs> and thinking, how fucking bad is this happening right now? Kind of <laughs> kind of deal. Because I think you could play it as both sides. You could play it as the... Yeah. As the bad guys, and you could play it as your heroes. Um, but yeah, cool I'm, thing, this looks really cool. The cool thing that I thought they were doing is that, like, they don't have it, so like units will like walk over each other. They kind of like have to like walk around each other now, because I guess before in the old game they were like, just, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think the stuff like that, like little changes like that, are pretty neat. And like, you know, just just the way it looks too, man. Like this is this is a really good looking like remaster, or they're calling it reforged, but but yeah, I mean, it looks it looks cool, man. I uh, I love me some old. RTS games like this, man. Like I, yeah. I talked about I talked about it before, but like I played a lot of Galactic Battlegrounds, a lot of Empire at War, a lot of Warcraft Three, a lot of uh, Age of Mythology, uh, fucking Command and Conquer Generals. You know what I mean? Like that. Those are like my RTS games that I used to play a lot. And I miss them so much. Yeah, man. It's it's in in the age of MOBAs, man. I I want I want I want these RTSs to make a comeback, dude. So I'm glad we're getting remasters and remakes, even if they're fans like this one in particular uh, is really cool. And as we know, the Command and Conquer one came out this past year, which was remastered uh, by EA. They were like, man, we really fucked up by putting Command and Conquer on mobile and we didn't listen to the fans. But you know what? We're going to listen to the fans now. So uh, the people that were in charge of that project gave me hope, <laughs> hope again, hope again for for for, for RTS is to. I guess kind of make a comeback from the MOBAs. We'll see as 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 things progress because I love these games, right? And and I know a lot of people love StarCraft and stuff, but I always like shit like this way better than StarCraft personally. I was not a StarCrafty person. Uh, I loved Warcraft Three, same as Daniel. Age of Mythology, same as Daniel. Um, these were games my dad would play because the, the old man can't play like first person shooters. Makes him sick. As a so as a kid, this is what he when I was a kid, this is what he would play, and I would that's what got me into it, man. That's what got me into Command and Conquer. That's what got me into a lot of early strategy games. Was the old man playing these? So I definitely want more of them because for me, I love them. I love them. I absolutely love building my base and defending it and having my army and all that badass shit. Yes, please more. What? That's all I got to say on it. Other than I want it, I want it now. Yeah. Skip around a little bit. I and mean, we can move on to the next thing. Yeah, what else you got? We just wanted to show it off here a little bit because it was fun. Uh, all right. So here's something that's maybe we talked about uh, last week or I think a week, a week or two ago that uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 was, uh, you know, delayed and whatnot. But now we have some more news on 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 that. Is that uh, the writer or a writer on the original game has been fired from the sequel? Mm-hmm. Brian Mitsoda, the lead writer on the original uh, Vampire: The Masquerade Bloodlines, has been uh, laid off from the development team working on the second game. Uh, 
they say that uh, these changes to the team are focused on one thing, to bring you the best possible Vampire the Masquerade game, uh, Hard Suit Labs and Paradox wrote. We will share any further features, any any uh, further updates as they occur. Uh, and then in a statement to Rock Paper Shotgun, he said that his termination from the project, which according to him occurred just over a month ago on July 16th, came as a shock. I've worked on Bloodlines 2 for almost five years, he said he told the site. The story and main cast was initially received, conceived in my living room. I helped develop the pitch for Hard Suit Labs and helped pitch the project to Paradox in Las Vegas. I've been in charge of the narrative since the beginning, We're working long days and sometimes weekends to deliver the, a successor to Vampire the Mastery of Bloodlines. And I've never been led to believe that I hadn't succeeded. Um, so how do we feel about this? This is uh, I, I am um, I I was I was watching about this as it kind of happened. I was reading into it. I I was excited for this, and now I'm a little bit less so, right? Because the what's come out of this is just how kind of foggy and unclear a lot of it is. Like you know what I mean? Like he said, this is a shock, and he kind of didn't know what was coming. Um, Paradox and those guys over there are saying a complete, like a different thing, and I think they let go another fellow that worked on the project, but I can't remember off the top of my head who it was. Um, but what it sounds like ultimately is that they're bringing in the money man to to come in and be like, "No, you can't do this. No, you can't do this. You got to hit this date now. You got to hit this date now. You got no choice. You got to cut this. You got to cut this. You got to cut that." That's what it sounds like to me personally, and from what I've understood. Um, from uh, in particular, I was I was hanging out in Co Carnage's stream when this happened, and he ch he talked about it a little bit, and that sound just kind of the whole thing is hazy. It's very um, unclear on what the fuck it's all about or what's going on over there. Um, so personally, how I feel about it is uh, I don't have the whole story. I'll probably never have the whole story, not for a long time. I was excited for the game. Now I'm very kind of, I just don't know now. Um, because it's when something like that, especially that somebody that's in charge of something that big, right? Which is the entire narrative kind of shit. You could, firing that person could fuck the whole game almost in certain ways. So, shit. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm very, I'm not as excited about it as I was. How about you? I know you were interested in it. Yeah. Well, see, I. Never played the first game. And each new thing that I was watching for the second game had me more and more excited about it. So, I don't know. This news kind of has me a little bit like... Again, I haven't played the first one, so I don't even know if I would like that one. But, like, when you have the, your lead writer from the first game onto the second game, and he talks about, like, how he worked, like, his ass off, basically, sometimes. Like... We, like weekends like actually you know like just busting his ass like trying to like come up with this story for the second game and they're like oh dude alright thanks but you're fired now dude it's like mm -hmm. I don't know man that kind of that kind of doesn't sit well with me a little bit uh, it reeks of corporate right it reeks of this yeah. is the, the money man coming in yeah so I I, I don't uh, I don't know man it, it, it kind of it, it 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 definitely lessens a little bit of, of excitement that I had on it because now I'm gonna be like cautiously like looking out for it, you know. Like I, I could see this being as a game that honestly now maybe might not be as as good, but I don't know, dude. I, I that's the thing. I just don't know. We don't we, we don't know though, right? Like it, it mm. could it could it could turn out to be a, a good game, but I I just I don't know this. But the, it, all I'm saying is that this doesn't bode well for me, you know? Like, I just, I yeah. don't know. I, 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 I'm I just going to have to, it's, it's going to be a wait and see, man. Like, I, everything that I had been seeing beforehand has gotten me more and more, like, looking forward to this. But now I'm kind of like, I, I got to take, take like a step back and be like, all right, now that we know this has happened, I need to see what else they have in store because I, I just, I'm a little uncertain now about it, so... Yeah, that's basically how I feel about it right now. Yeah. Yep. Alrighty. Well, we can move on. We have... We know what the new the new Call of Duty game is going to be now, Josh. Did you see this? I, I no, heard about it. We know what it's going to be now. 
Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is the next game in the series. So we're going to the Cold War, boy. Uh, there was a teaser trailer, I believe. I'm trying to see if I could find it because the thing that I'm looking at right here, uh, the you know, like how they have like a trailer. Okay, here it is. I got it. If you want to yeah. put that up there real quick. I got you. Yeah. So we. So yeah, Cold War. Uh, I, this hasn't really been a period that they've like really explored, right? Call of Duty before, really? I don't think so. I, I, I there's know, some I haven't played, right? So I don't. I, yeah, I know that in the original Black Ops, they kind of like you know, mess with it a little bit. But that was, like, more, like, also, like, Vietnam and stuff, too. But, uh... Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. I don't know. Because most Call of Duty games are either, like, in World War Two, the, the earlier ones, or, like, the more... Some of the more modern ones are, like, you know, they've been, like, in the future with, like, jetpacks and all this other bullshit. <laughs> and then, like, they, they kind of, like... Last year, they kind of like brought it back to like modern times with the new the modern World Warfare reboot. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I I actually the last year's Modern Warfare was my fir the first Call of Duty that I bought in like forever because mm -hmm. I kind of stopped playing those games for a few years because they just got like boring and like I just they I got like Madden games. right. It's like the same game yeah. every time almost. And I feel like last year for me kind of like re rejuvenated the franchise a little bit yeah um and i and i enjoyed that one you know the story was was pretty was pretty decent too and everything um so yeah i don't know i mean i'll, I'll be i'll be curious to see what they uh what they do with this um i hope they go nuts with the story we're just fucking shadow ops all over different countries fucking fighting the russians or some yeah, crazy shit yeah that'd be really interesting uh, cause you could do that because like the Cold War even now is still like steeped in a bunch of fucking we don't know what the fuck's going on half the time shit. So <laughs> I, I they're probably gonna be a mission in Cuba. We're probably gonna I don't know. Be we're gonna fuck with some. I call it. We're gonna fuck with some missiles on Cuba, right? That's I guarantee <laughs> you that's gonna be a mission. I can bet you. Uh. Uh. Yeah. You know, I, I haven't been interested in Call of Duty in a while. Like, um, I had this talk last night. I I hopped in chat with Aaron and Landis, and they were going to, I think they were going to play some Call of Duty, but Landis had to update because, you know, <laughs> this is Call of Duty and they Dude, have these massive updates. <laughs> I, that's one thing that I absolutely fucking, like, despise, dude. That game has so many fucking updates, and it is a, colossal fucking game dude it takes forever to update that thing because these updates are super unnecessary i don't know why they need to update it so much to be honest like i, I like just fucking can we not have a 200 gig game please like I, i've all I've, I've almost uninstalled the game a few times because i'm just like this is just taking up way too much space for something that i don't play that much mm -hmm. but like i don't know i, I just Fuck, that that really does annoy me though. The the constant updates and how big they are, and the game is fucking massive now too, and everything. It's like, come on, man, calm down. But that being said, Treyarch is coming back to do this this Call of Duty for this year, and I typically like the Treyarch games. I think, I think so. I I I don't know. I forget. The last like, <laughs> I, I was so like, many. <laughs> I was super into Call of Duty from the like Modern Warfare the original. Black uh, or World at War, uh, Modern Warfare Two, and then like Black Ops, the first one. Like that was those like four games were like the ones that I was like all about, you know. And then after that, I kind of just like fell off of it. But I played, I played, I played the very first Call of Duty. Um, it's like expansion that came out right like, after that. Like, cause my dad, even though he wasn't like super in the first person shooters, cause they'd make him sick, he'd still buy them on occasion and would play them until the point where he's like, I can't play this anymore. I'm too sick. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess so. And then there was like a Call of Duty two, and I think I played that one. I my era of Call of Duty was World War two. Like that's like the ones yeah. I started with, and that's the ones I was oh, in. Yeah, because cause, like because like back then there was like Medal of Honor and like fucking mm -hmm. you know the early played a Call fuckload of, of those too. <laughs> yeah, like all, all those like FPS, like all those kind of games were all like set in World War two, man. Like all of them, dude. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, which to be fair, I mean that's took a good good. Uh, Good period to set your. It's your it's game so up. easy to fight Nazis. 
You can put Nazis in any game, they are the best villains because you never feel bad about killing them. That's what makes Wolfenstein so fun, you know? Uh, <laughs> um, shooting, stabbing, killing Nazis, you know? And <laughs> as BJ Blazkowicz says, <laughs> you don't feel bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, shit. But yeah, Call of Duty, we're going to the Cold War. Uh, yeah. stamp a stamp on the box. Josh said we're going to Cuba, and we are because I guarantee you that's going to be there. Absolutely, yeah. Josh, Josh said it here. You heard you, you heard it here first. All right. If there's Anyways. not a Cuba mission, I'm gonna be so so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, next up, uh, Hitman Three announced that it's going to be an Epic Games exclusive on PC for a year, which. We've had that recently, right? Like uh-huh. the past like year or so, or two or a couple years, or whatever. That we we have like, there's been games like The Outer Worlds, like, uh, fucking I don't know, uh, Metro Exodus, uh, just uh, several Control. There's been several games that like, they're coming to PC, but they're gonna be an exclusive for a year on Ep- on the you know on the Epic Game Store, and then they come to Steam a year later or whatever. Yeah, so that's that's what's happening with uh, with um, with Hitman Three, uh, and this releases on January twenty twenty one. So it'll be an exclusive on there for a year, and then you know it'll go on Steam. Uh, we have a little trailer for it as well. A little little Thornbridge mystery location reveal. You want to check that out real quick? Hell yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think I'll watch this trailer. But uh, in addition to PC, of course, the game is also coming to PS4, PS5, Stadia, Xbox One, Xbox Series X next year. So yeah. I know oh, that uh, I know that you're into these uh, these Hitman games, Josh. They're they're just fun. They're just fun. Like. Like, in the older games, I would fucking just go around and not even try to do the mission stealthily. I would just murder the fuck out of people and see how long I could could get away with it. You know, like GTA? Like you used to do, you know, you'd hop in a car and run over a billion people and get the cops and military after you. Hitman's games are fun like that. And there's so many different ways to take out your target and stuff. It's just a lot of fun. They're fun. But also can be quite hilarious. (laughs) Yeah. They're, They're a lot of fun to stream, too. Um, fucking Alfred. Sorry. Um. <laughs> uh. But yeah. Hitman, man, I love it. It's gonna be great. Oh shit! Agent Forty Seven. There you go. Remember when they made Hitman a movie? Like, they made two movies. I yeah, think. they did. I only ever saw the Timothy Oliphant one. <laughs> I don't think I've seen any of them. But they, I actually and... thought the first one was okay, to be honest. <laughs> I know they had, like, two different two different ones, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's something that's pretty interesting. PS5 released, or Sony released a PS5 a Play No Limits video, which is... Uh, pretty neat like ch- ch- check this out it has like uh i remember watching this and being like yo this is like this is what games are gonna look like now i'm like god damn this looks realistic as fuck dude <laughs> like just looking at the lady's face like, and like the, you know like the, the close-ups and just the detail and everything i'm like what the fuck is this a game yeah i'm just like what it's like how people joke during the PS4 uh, conference a little while. PS conference, the little, little get together thing they did on on Twitch. People yeah. were like, "They're not really in the room together. They're all CG." And yeah, then right. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that shit was funny. Yeah, yeah. But then they, you know they, so they show you all this, and then like at the end they just show you you know like get this is basically like a get ready for the PS5 because it's coming. You know. Yeah, I remember when these used to play. They always play things like this. They play the ones toward the end of a generation, you know, where they have, like, for Timmy, the for Timmy or whatever the fuck <laughs> the thing for was toward Timmy. the, or whatever the fuck the dude's name was, right? He, 
You remember those commercials? I always liked them because they're silly and they'd have all these different characters from different things. So, and then when they gear up for something, they talk about and they have their fucking slogan and all that. So, yeah, you know, yeah, you got your haptic feedback, your adaptive triggers, your 3D audio, PS5, dual sands, play has no limits. No limits. It's, you know, this sometime this fall, I would imagine November because that's usually like, you know, that's when the Xbox is coming out. And, Sorry, know. I was looking at the comments. And this, this dude says, play has no limits. Mom, you can only play 15 minutes. And then they made me laugh. Uh... <laughs> What's the price, Sony? Let's just say it has no limits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, That's funny, man. Jokes on you, the new PS5 is a live service. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. What do you got next? Anyway, uh, as we mentioned earlier, DC Fandom is currently going on right now. Oh, hell yeah. And uh, because of that, they've, uh, they've been dropping some stuff today. And they dropped, they dropped the, uh, their new game they're working on, which I'll be honest, I can't wait, dude. I, I'm looking forward to this game already. Just seeing this little trailer, but I'm gonna get this trailer here for Josh. Have you seen this, Josh, or no? Which which one is it? We are about to take a look at the world premiere trailer for Gotham Knights. I came into the stream because I turned on the stream and I saw like the second half of this, and then I saw my boy, my boy's in this game, and I was like, dude, oh fuck, Gotham Knights. This this game looks cool as hell, dude. I this is gonna be. Again, give me fucking co-op, dude. We all get to play as one of these, and mm-hmm. man, just you, you, you guys watch them. We'll see if you haven't seen it already. It looks you, you, you know who I got dibs on in this game. It looks fucking rad, dude. I am about this game, man. I can't wait. It looks so cool. Uh, they showed some gameplay for this as well, I believe. Oh yeah. Um, Huh. It was super early, um, and they showed off. I think they showed off some of the uh, co-op in it. Yeah, this I haven't actually seen. Oh damn! Okay, cool. Yeah, it, it's kind of like giving you like a little bit of the story and whatnot. This is of like a four-minute trailer, dude. Yeah, it's it's pretty long. I actually watched this like right before we went live, like a couple, like several minutes before we went live. So I was like, yo, this dropped. I got to check it out. I couldn't wait, dude. I was like, fuck this. I got to watch it with sound and everything, man. Because we don't watch these with sound while we're live. So, I, you know, I, gotta, nah. I was like, I got to uh, check this out before we, before we actually do it. And, yeah, dude, I'm about boom, it, man. It looks, There's it my boy. Beautiful. Your boy Nightwing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, out of all these characters that they're showing off, who who you want to play as? Who you want to oh, be? E- easily, I'm I'm going Red Hood, dude. That's, that's oh, yeah, stuff. fuck yeah, Red, fuck it, Red Hood, dude. Red Hood. I don't even know why I asked. <laughs> Red Hood, yeah, I like Nightwing a lot too. Yeah, but I mean, listen, man, if you're, if you're gonna go Nightwing, I'm going Red Hood, dude. Let's 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 do it, bro. Let's do it. And oh just... shit! Your boy, uh, your boy, Robin. God, they look so great. I mean, they look great. Look at them. They look cool. Yeah, dude. They look fucking badass. You really do. I'm not the biggest fan of Robin's outfit in this, but eh. That's I kind of I mean. like it just because it's different. I hope they have um alternate yeah, yeah, costumes. Like, I hope they yeah. do kind of like what the Avengers is doing, right? Like, yeah, yeah uh, exactly. Like, you get, like, like different cosmetics and stuff. I, I, hope, I hope so, too, yeah. I actually do kind of like his uh, costume, though, just because it's something I haven't seen, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll give it that. It is different, but I don't know. I just, I just prefer like more something more like I don't know. It's it's hard to beat class the classics. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I just prefer like something more like that we that we're used to. But Red Hood say, looks fucking great. I will say everybody else's outfit looks fucking. Batgirl looks badass. She yeah, looks really cool. Uh, Nightwing, of course, looks fucking cool. My boy Red Hood looks fucking gangsta as well. Yeah, they all look fucking cool, man. We yeah, never really I, talked about it, but are you um bigger in the Marvel or DC? Like, oh, what, oh I, I I mentioned it all the time. I'm 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 more into DC. I'm the same. Well, I 
I the thing the reason for that is like I just I grew up with more DC stuff than I did with Marvel, you know? Like I I still love I still love them both. Like I'm not gonna I'm yeah. not gonna like be one of Oh those no, people. we're not going to war over it. I was just curious. Yeah, no, I, I'm uh, not gonna I'm not one of those like you have to choose one kind of thing. I I, I don't I don't I don't choose. I I, I I take it all, you know what I mean? Give it all to me. Yeah, I I don't but I've always been more DC than I have Marvel for sure. Like, that, I think a lot of that 100%. for me and probably for you too is oh fuck. I used to watch right. a lot of the like old like animated shows and stuff. That it helped was and, like, like Batman the animated series, Mask yeah. of the Phantasm. All that shit yeah, yeah, came yeah. out when I was a boy, right? And that's like what got me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and then of as course, as a kid, I don't remember a lot of Marvel stuff other than X Men. Not really. Other th- for me, it was like Spider Man the animated series. And, yeah, like, yeah, and Spider Man and stuff too. You know, like that. That was like pretty much it for me, for for Marvel. Um, but yeah, I was all I've I've yeah I, I say it all the time when people ask me I'm, I always answer I'm like yeah I'm always more DC than I am Marvel just because that's like the shit I grew up on you know which again it's not to say that I didn't grow up on Marvel either because I mean I did but it was just I was more it, there was more DC stuff for me to consume than like <laughs> here's some of my gameplay if you want to see it by the way oh yeah 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 for uh, sure I, I I haven't seen this so I'm, I this is a they, they say a pre alpha 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 game build. <laughs> Um, I did watch this when it aired, and it did look a little rough, but it, like, fuck me, it's got a long way to go, bro. Um, um, so here you got the bad woman. She's riding a riding a fucking bike. Yeah, yeah, it looks cool, man. I I definitely want to play it, man. Like. If they if this definitely like gives me like again of we talk about we mentioned Avengers earlier with, in talking about mm-hmm. this it kind of remind it kind of reminds me of that like you get like four people to play as you get a little you get a little little crew or whatever yeah I do like though that this is a little bit of a smaller scale right it's gonna focus mostly on the Bat family from yeah, what yeah, they yeah, said of yeah, yeah, yeah of course um, but yeah yeah you're, you're not gonna see like Green Lantern and shit for sure yeah yeah um yeah. So that's probably what, what what would put me push me a little bit more toward this was it's a more of a a little bit of a tighter focus right on these two. Man, I just this is gonna be fun, dude. This is gonna be a fun ass game. In this in this walkthrough, I have sound on because I can hear it without the stream hearing it. Um he said that you can play the entire game solo or in two player co op, so maybe you can't do four at once. Oh, really? That might be something that changes. I hope I so, because like why why have four people if you can't like I don't know, it just seems weird. I don't know. I don't know. It's a little strange. Um that give he could have could have been a misspoke. Give me the thing. fucking give me the four player co op, man. What's going on? Well, I think he says story. There might be a way to do other stuff as a four player group, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean you yeah, that, I I suppose. Still, still very early, so. Yeah. Or, or at least what we know is still very early. And I haven't got to de- like deep dive into anything about it yet other than watching this uh gameplay stuff. Right, right, right. There's your boy Alfred. Hell yeah, dude. Alfred. Let's skip ahead a bit. We'll skim through it. This is seven minutes long, so if you want to watch the full thing, I, I highly encourage will, I you to do so. I definitely will be doing so. I, I definitely want to check it out with sound and everything. Cause... Jeez, man, I wonder what villain they could possibly be facing with all this ice. <laughs> right? Let's kick some ice. It looks to me like this Robin has a different outfit on. He does. Oh, so well. there's definitely definitely different costumes. Okay, well that's that's good then. Because I like that. Yeah. I, I, I like the different cosmetic stuff. I hope they have like um like group takedowns almost, you know what I mean? Like like we fucking do a combo together kind of deal. I always like that shit in games. Oh yeah. For sure. 
That's fucking cool. <laughs> I was trying to listen to the voices because the characters are talking just to see if I recognize any, but I can't really get a good good gauge on if I've heard the voice characters or voice uh, voices before, rather. Mm-hmm. I I have to I have to watch it with fucking audio, man. I need, I need yeah, 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 yeah. So I can see what like I I know one I know who Nightwing is gonna be. Do you? Because the actor tweeted it out. I was like he's like <laughs> I am Nightwing. Um, Christopher Sean, who was the main character in Star Wars Resistance. Uh, oh. Kazuda Ziono, he's gonna be Nightwing in this game. That's cool. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty neat. Man, that'd yeah. be the dream, right? I'm fucking Nightwing. Imagine you get to tweet out and be like, I'm fucking Nightwing. Yeah, he's that'd like, be... I, on the following tweet, I was like, I am Nightwing. That's like, how cool is that, dude? That's pretty <laughs> I'd be losing my shit. <laughs> like, something you've been working on for months, uh, or, or like, you know, however long. And then Look you, at you fucking fu- Mr. Freeze. Holy you've been shit. holding on to it forever, and you can finally tweet it out. Like, I am Nightwing. That's, that's gotta be cool. One thing about Mr. Freeze is that I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I don't like any... I just... Every time they, like, redesign him, dude, I just... I don't... I'm not with it, dude. Like, I, I don't like the redesigns, dude. Like, for me, the best Mr. Freeze will probably always be the animated series one, dude. Yeah, and this... I don't really... I don't... Does he really need to be in, like, a giant mech suit? I mean... <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it, yeah it, it, just, it just seems like... Rather, like... Extra and unnecessary, dude. Like I don't, I don't, I don't really like the look of him in this, to be honest. I get that. Like again, you were talking about Robin's outfit earlier. Like people want to try stuff that's different, which you know is cool, and and sometimes it works, and other times it, it doesn't. Uh, for me personally, I don't, I don't think he looks, I don't think he looks cool in this. I mean, I don't think he looks terrible either, but it's just like I don't know. I just, I don't know. It, it's hard. It, it's just hard to beat the the animated series, Mister Freeze. For me. Uh, yeah. I mean and that I, is that is again, the best Mr. Freeze to be fair. Yeah, and and again, it's a very ha- high bar to 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 achieve, you know, or, or to beat or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying you have to because again, it's it's hard to top that. But I don't know. I just I just haven't really been impressed with uh with a lot of the Mr. Freeze redesigns and whatnot that have you know come out over the years. Uh, anyway. That was cool. I'm definitely, uh, definitely, very excited to see more of that because yeah. that game looks fucking awesome. Something to look to 2021 about forward to. Hell yeah, that's something already. Mm-hmm. Um, that's all I got for gaming news. So we can. Uh, I only have a couple things in TV, so it should be over pretty quickly. And then we can move uh, on. Let me double check the game stuff just to see if there's anything. I feel like there was something I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember what it was. Uh, did you see the Wukong, that Black Myth Wukong thing? I did. Yeah, 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 I did. I did see that. That was the thing I think it was that that I wanted to just... I I haven't watched this all the way. What do you think of it? I'm going to throw it up here. Um, I'm not really the biggest Dark Souls person. And that looks like very super Dark Souls. But I will say that like it looked pretty neat. You know, like... I. I think that the game is like has. I think they said that they're like far away from having it look like that. Um, like Skip there's a long way to bit. there's like a long way to go for this game. So I mean, we'll have to see. I, I think it's cool though that like you know they're going into a little bit of of uh, some Chinese like you know. To to me, this doesn't look Dark Souls. I mean, look how many enemies are on screen. To me, this looks more of a more of like a open world brawler type game right like uh oh goodness what, what are some good games that are kind of like this uh like a less extreme dynasty warriors in a way i guess you know um that's kind of the vibe i'm getting from it it looks it runs fucking smooth at least in this little demo um uh, uh, but i did want to mention it i haven't even watched this video all the way through just because the way it kind of dropped and like the response to it looked really neat I um, yeah. I I did watch the whole thing. It, it, it there's there's parts of it that that do kind of intrigue me, and then there's other parts of it that, like I said, look like 
look too Dark Soulsy, and I'm just like, I can't. Uh, I don't. I don't really care about that stuff. Um, that is a boss fight. Is what that is. Yeah, see, like big ass shit like that. That's that's Dark Souls as fuck, dude. They just big ass creatures, and you gotta like. I'll be honest I with just, you. I think ahead. Fallen Order more than I do Dark Souls here, um, because we fight the fucking big bat in that too. Yeah, um, I mean, but but I mean, yeah, but even that was like inspired by Dark Souls. You know what I mean? I think I don't think the difficulty spike's gonna be at least from the way it looks. Like he's getting hit in his health. He's not like fucking Dark Souls to me. Is you die in like one hit, right? That's Dark Souls to me. This is more. Yeah, it's got some flavor on it, but definitely more in the Fallen Order kind of level of it to me. I just, um, the whole, like, fight a big-ass creature and you have to roll a billion times to fight it is kind of like, I don't I don't really care for that kind of stuff, you know? There's the rolling? There. I mean, we do the same thing with parry systems in games. Yeah, I mean, I, I sure, but, like, I just, I don't know, man. Just something about, like... It's just like these, just the, those kinds of games. You have to like roll like a billion times to like fight something. You know, it's like, man, whatever, dude. Like, oh, that's cool. I don't know. Holy fuck! Like uh, again, this this game does intrigue me a bit, but I don't know. I I, I need to I need to see definitely more needs there. more info on it, right? But yeah, I think yeah, it looks. Sure. It's definitely got my interest. Um, I need to know more about it. But if it's just gonna be like another Dark Soulsy type of game, then I don't. I'm not. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna play it. Yeah. Uh, no, I feel you because I'm not big in the Dark Souls either. Or at all? Really. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not into it at all. Like the only thing that like I, I played, I, obviously Jedi Fallen Order because it's a Star Wars game, so I had to do that. But there, even then, there was stuff in that that I'm like, dude, I just I don't give a fuck about these Dark Souls mechanics. All, all I all I really want more Fallen Order is just more lightsaber duels, right? Because <laughs> that's what I liked about it. I liked the duels, the dueling. Yeah. I didn't like really fighting the giant bat fucking creature like Matt on that, but I really liked when he had lightsaber battles. Because that really yeah. felt life and death. Yeah, the lights, were, the, the lights were duels were fun. But yeah, the like the big old, like, I don't know. I just, again, it, it's just something that these, that these kinds of games love to do. It's like you fight a big-ass monster and you have to roll a billion times. And you have to, like, I don't know. It, it's just, it, I, don't, I don't like that kind of stuff. But I know there's people out there that love that kind of shit. I just, it's just not, it's not, not for me. But yeah, I mean, this game looks neat. I just need to see a little bit more of it. I like kind of like I like the setting that we're in. You know what I mean? Like the mm -hmm. the Chinese, like you know. I think this is like an old Chinese tale or something. We got it's the like, fucking Monkey King, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I think that stuff is neat, like the setting and like where we're at, and the you know the the, the story of it and the characters and like that kind of stuff. I'm into. But for me, it, more of like the gameplay and kind of stuff that I'm just, I'm gonna be like you know wary of because yeah i'm not the again i'm not the biggest dark souls guy so what the fuck? I, I i need i just need more information on this game basically yeah i mean this is still something super early but i did want to mention it because uh well i hadn't watched it completely and we didn't talk about it and i thought oh this looks neat well, so i can talk about it I'm yeah i saw it i just I, I didn't add it onto my thing for some reason but the oh, right up, so that's big cool. ass monster thing yeah that armor looks cool some of the character design looks really great uh, that definitely looks Dark Soulsy. Those guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, interesting, interesting. De definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe the game is called Black Myth Wukong. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's a uh, retelling of a classic Chinese mythology epic. Which again, I'm I'm into that kind of stuff. But did you ever watch? Oh God, what was that movie? It had Jackie Chan and Jet Li in it. It was a martial arts movie that kind of had the Monkey King in it a little bit. Oh my goodness, what was it called? Forbidden something. Forbidden was it? Forbidden something. Let me look. Jackie Chan. I don't think I have. Jackie Chan. Jet Li. The Forbidden Kingdom. That was it. The Forbidden Kingdom came out in two thousand eight. Yeah, no, I not seen not the most amazing movie but it's a it's a pretty good i mean you got jackie chan jay lee in it so you know it's gonna have some kind of fucking fighting yeah <laughs> you know what i mean so you you should check that out if you have time at some point all right we want to hit the tv news my friend yeah there's not a whole lot of it so it'll we'll, we'll be going through it fairly quickly but i have a couple things all right uh speaking of the red hood and and all that stuff uh the, an actor who portrayed the Red Hood in the movie Under the Red Hood, Jensen Ackles, is joining the cast of The Boys Season 3. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
as as everybody knows, or if you know who this guy is, he's he's most famous for being one of the supernatural bros. Uh, and they, he he put he tweeted out a video, uh, which we can basically you can put it up there if you want. Uh, he's just him, like recording himself. He 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 looks at the at, at the boys, you know. Sorry, I got an ad. Or I would have thrown it up quicker. <laughs> And he has some music playing in the background. And it's just like, yep. And at the end, the boys, season three. That's all it is. It's just he's gonna be in the show. So, uh yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I don't yeah, know who cool. he's gonna play, um, and, or anything like that. And I know all I know is that Supernatural is over. So this man is looking for more work. Uh, and I think I, I haven't really, I actually haven't really seen him in a whole lot of things. But I liked, I did like him a whole hell of a lot in the, like I said, under the Red Hood. He was great in that, uh, and I think he'll do just fine in this in the Boys season three. So I think it's cool that we're getting stuff for the Boys season three before season two is even out. Like I'm glad out. that they really have faith in it. That's for sure because I really yeah. liked the first season. I can't Same. wait for the second one. Yeah, season two looks bonkers, dude. I can't wait. Which, by the way, we're like two weeks away from that. So very, very, very exciting. Uh, the only other thing I have for TV is that uh, Penny Dreadful has been canceled again. <laughs> I don't know if you ever watched the original Penny Dreadful, Mm-mm. which was really good. It had like Ava Green and uh, and, a, and a couple other like really really great actors. But they like did another like a spinoff I think or something called Penny Dreadful City of Angels, and they had. Uh, What's her name? Natalie Dormer, and it was set in like 1930s LA. Um, and I had I actually had not gotten the chance to check this out yet. I was planning on doing so because again, I really enjoyed the the original Penny Dreadful series. But uh, yeah, I just I never got a chance to watch this. And now it's been canceled. So will I will I even check it out now? I don't know. I was interested in it, but now that I know that. It's been it's done after like only a season or something. Uh, I'm just yeah. like, eh, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like I I, I kind of in terms of like TV stuff, I kind of have to like reevaluate for myself like what I want to keep watching, what I don't want to keep watching, because there's obviously as we know there's always going to be something new coming out, right? So if if you're if you're gonna be watching new things all the time and you're still watching old things you're gonna have to go like there's some shows that i used to like enjoy a lot back in the day that i don't as much anymore so it's like do i want to spend my time like do i want to waste my time watching something that i don't enjoy anymore or as much as i used to or should i watch something new that i know i probably will enjoy and like you know, should I like prioritize newer things that I know for sure I'm gonna like, other than this other stuff that I used to, but not anymore. You know, so it's kind of like I have to do that for myself. Like, there's like the C- the CW shows I'm kind of conflicted on. I mentioned last week or a week before, or a week before that or whatever that I'm like, maybe I like maybe I'll stop watching them or I don't. For me, it's kind of like I've been watching them for so long now that it's kind of like I should just stick to them because of because of that. <laughs> but at the same time, like, there's so many now, dude. That, that, like, I just and they're and they're making new ones, too. That it's like, how do I keep up with all this shit, man? There's just like so much to watch. I'm just like, I don't even enjoy, like, fully enjoy like half of these. You know, it's like, I only really watch them because they're all connected and stuff. And it's like, I don't know. I, I gotta, I gotta really reevaluate stuff for myself in terms of TV. I know that you yeah. don't, really, you don't really watch a whole lot of stuff, right? I usually wait for like an entire thing to come out and then I'll binge it. That's usually how I kind of handle my TV stuff. That way I can kind of space out. When do I have free time and check this out? You know, um, unless it's something that really grabs me, something like the boys, right? Like I can. Yeah. Or, or, or I don't know. What's another good example? Fucking nothing in a while. Actually, that's that I've done that with. Um, that's been like, I need to watch this every week. It comes out immediately. Like there's nothing that's really grabbed me like that lately. For me, I think the last thing that was like I gotta watch this weekly was Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it, Mandalorian. Which, which, yeah. which, which will be coming again soon. So I'm super excited about that. Dude, actually, yeah, damn right. Been, there has been rumors that we're gonna be getting a season two trailer really soon. 
Ooh. at the NBA playoffs, like one of these games. So at like the halftime of one of these games. So I'm I'm keeping an eye out for that. I I definitely cannot wait. That is my most anticipated thing always because I love that fucking show. It's so and, good. Uh, it's so I can't good. wait, man. It's 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 coming in it's coming soon, like in a month and a half or so, probably, where we'll begin begin the second season. Which isn't that crazy? Like we just watched I remember like season one ending. I'm like, man, we gotta wait a year for this thing, and now look at this, we're almost there, dude. I fucking I'm gonna rewatch that shit too real soon. Oh, I, I'm definitely gonna do it as well. I definitely I have to just like rewatch it as well. But uh but yeah, that's that's basically all I got for TV. We can uh we can move on right. to uh let's hit it. Movies. If you if you have unless you got something. Oh, I ain't got shit in TV, bro. All right, yeah, all right, cool. Then we'll move on to movies then. I, I glanced real quick when you were doing your two things, and I was like, "Oh, this is this is why we only have two things." Yeah, <laughs> there's it, it nothing. Just, unfortunately, there there are some times when there just isn't anything. But anyway, uh, I don't know if you checked this out, but we, the first thing in movie news that I have is that uh, we have the new uh, jerseys for the Space Jam, the Toon Squad reveal. I saw the, the I saw the Blind Wave guys talk about this. Yeah, so we have. Space Jam and New Legacy, they showed off LeBron with the new jersey. Oh, uh, wow, that's loud. Hang on. Sorry, yeah, there we go. Yeah. There's been a lot of people giving it, giving it shit or whatever. I think they look cool, man. I think they look pretty neat. I, I dig them. You know what I mean? I like them. I, 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 like, I like that they have the like old school like Looney Tunes little circle thing on, on the side or whatever. I think they look neat. It's just one jersey. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that it's bad. I don't think it's bad by any means. I like the originals a lot, though. What's kind of like, but I don't think it's bad at all. I think it looks fine. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I keep fucking Twitter videos replay automatically. That's right. I don't have to keep yeah, the yeah. button. Yeah, yeah. Twitter videos <laughs> just keep, keep playing. Yeah, no, no. I get you. Yeah, the original jerseys were fine, but I mean, yeah, they they they're just from they're just from like twenty years ago, you know. So they they had to like. Mm-hmm. You know, change things up for the modern era, which again, I think that the new jerseys look pretty good. They they look they look yeah. fine. You know, yeah, they're they're fine. Yeah. They're they're really uh, they're very colorful. I'll give yeah. it that. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely they're definitely colorful. Uh, Toon Squad. That's all I could hear in my head every time I see it say it on the shirt. Is the right. fucking announcer guy being like Toon Squad? Hell yeah, dude. That's that's gonna be it's gonna be cool, man. I. I I, I really enjoy the first Space Jam movie, so I'm looking forward to the second one. We'll see, uh, you know, we'll see how this turns out. You know, it, it probably mean, won't, it probably won't live up to the first one, but I mean, hey, man, it is what it is. For for me, that movie's such a nostalgia thing, right? I grew up with it pretty yeah. hard. I got it on VHS when it came out as a kid. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna try not to let be like. Well, that one was mine. And I like it so much more than this one. Like, I want to give this a fair shake at it being its own yeah, deal, yeah. right? Exactly. So. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but, yeah but anyway, you know. I just want to bring that up because they. I know they've talked it. about the before this all came about. They talked about doing another Space Jam for so fucking long, man. Yeah, it's kind of cool they, that it's happening. Yeah, for for years, for years, is this this one's been rumored. But anyway, we can move on to the next story here. We have a couple of Marvel Marvel uh, movie news here. Uh, so first up, we have Olivia Wilde is going to be directing an untitled female-centered Marvel movie at Sony. Uh, so Sony, of course, is building up their their Marvel universe with Spider-Man character, all the Spider-Man characters that they have and whatnot. And they're trying to get movies based off those characters, you know, off the ground, uh, and. Olivia Wilde, which some of you may reckon she's she's it's been interesting watching her shift from like an actor to a director. Because mm-hmm. if you guys remember, we we we, we both uh, Josh and I love Tron Legacy and she's yep. cool. She's Cora from from that. I think we just talked about it like either last one or the one before that. Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, we, we've been talking about it because there's been a lot of Tron three news lately. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, we want her to come back, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But anyway. That's another whole. That's a whole other thing. Yeah, so she, thing. She, she's going to be directing this this Marvel movie around uh, you know f- this female uh, centered Marvel movie uh, based off the you know the Spider Women or or or, or this or or, or the, the rumor is that this movie is going to be around centered around Spider Woman, mm-hmm. uh, which 
which would be interesting. Uh, Spider Woman, of course, you know, has different uh, been portrayed by different uh, ladies over the years. If you're knowledgeable on that kind of stuff, like you know Jessica Drew, and you know, there's been times where like you know she's been. There's, I think there's even been times she's been like Gwen Stacy or Mary Jane, right? Maybe I don't know. I think, I think so. maybe. I think so. But anyway, there's there's a lot of it, it'll it'll be interesting what what, what they do with this. Um because again, I'm not like this is this is me personally talking now. I am not like the biggest fan of the stuff that Sony does with their Marvel things. Like like I love the, the original Toby Maguire Sam Raimi movies, of course. Um and I like and I really like Spider Verse. Like Spider Verse is incredible. Like I think mm-hmm. Sony so, like people give Sony shit for the stuff that they've done, but like you have to remember they did they they did Spider Verse too. Like that was them, so they they deserve credit for that too. You know, because to a lot of people, that's the best Spider Man movie. It's so good, um, regardless like of being live action or animated. And I really do enjoy it. Like I still, for me, like the the nostalgia is too much on the Toby movies. That I, those are still my favorite, but <laughs> those are good too. Fucking but I too really, ridiculous. but I really do enjoy Spider Verse a hell of a lot. Um. But yeah, I have I just haven't really been the biggest fan of stuff they've done. Like Venom, I think is like a it's not I don't like Venom is just not a great movie. Like I don't think it's like terrible either. It's to me, Venom is just like I say this every time somebody mentions Venom to me or talks to me about it. Venom is like a pre MCU Marvel movie, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> like to me, Venom is like a nineties movie that came out like a couple of years ago, you know what I mean? Like it's it's yeah. weird. It's just one of those uh... like movies that like should have came out like forever ago but for whatever reason they just made it like a co- like two years ago or whatever yeah um so, yeah. what i was trying to wrap my head around is just who all do they what well, all rights to characters do they own? i mean they own all of all the, the spider-man, Spider-Man shit right yeah, like so spider-man has like the yeah, best that's the thing also- i'm trying to dig deep into my own mind because i'm not as versed in like the history of spider-man as i am say like batman right like i could name almost any batman villain and be like oh yeah they got that they could do that and Spider Man, I'm not. Uh, well, Spider Man so, has a great rogues gallery, like much much like Batman has a great one too. Spider Man on the Marvel side has a fantastic rogues gallery, man. Yeah, yeah, like there's there's some I remembered from the animated series, like yeah, fucking to, what is it Tombstone? Is it Tombstone? Yeah, Tombstone. Yeah, yeah. Tombstone. He, the fucking was, Raven the Hunter. Yeah. Fucking uh, just all those other villains dude, I, that I want right to see. I, I want to see fucking Hobgoblin, dude. Like they yeah. they keep doing, they keep doing Green Goblin, but I'm like, dude, fucking give me Hobgoblin, man. Like fucking do other stuff, man. Like actually do a good Rhino instead of fucking Paul Giamatti's <laughs> disaster from the Amazing Spider-Man Two, and then fucking Jamie Fox Electro, which is just like, oh lord, weird. That movie sucks, dude. That movie blows. That's that is fucking, to me the to me that is the worst Spider-Man movie. Yeah, I can. I'll give you a rhino. Bring, bring, bring Arnold in and let him do some puns. Oh <laughs> hell no! <dude. laughs> Put him in the suit. Give him the big horn, just like the anime he's, series. He's he's yeah. He's, he's gonna have the horn on his head. He's gonna just stab somebody to the wise and be like, stick around like he did in fucking, <laughs> like he did in fucking Predator or whatever. Dude. <laughs> stick around. He's gonna. Oh God. Jesus, no, I, uh, I'm just yeah, yeah, we'll see anyway. So, yeah, Olivia Wilde is doing a, a Marvel movie at Sony, so we'll see how that's that cool. Out. I hope it's something good. I hope it's yeah, I mean, same. I again, I always hope for things to be good. I don't want, I don't want things to be bad. It's, it's one of those things that we go back to earlier. Hey, it's a character I don't know a lot about. I want to fucking learn, teach me, show me the way, exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh, in other Marvel, uh, Sony news. Josh just mentioned the character. Marvel's Craven the Hunter movie at Sony uh, is eyeing uh, JC Chandor as director, who this guy was a director of uh, that, me, Nef- that's that, that Netflix movie, Triple Frontier. I haven't watched that. Which I haven't seen either. Yeah, I was about to say I haven't seen either, but uh, I want to check it out. But yeah, dude, there you go. Uh, even with Venom, Let There Be Carnage, and Morbius postponed until 2021. Sony Pictures is continuing to build up its slate of Marvel films. Uh, Craven the Hunter will be the latest film to gain momentum uh, in, their, in their universe of Marvel characters for Sony. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, 
I think this one could be really interesting. Like, I, I'm trying to figure out like mentally in my head right now as I read this stuff off, who would be like a good Craven the Hunter? Like, who, I was, I was fixing to you, ask you. I was like, who, who do you do cast you, in that role? Yeah, who, yeah, who do you cast as this guy? Because like pot- potentially this guy could maybe be in the MCU as well. Like, we we got to keep in mind that like all this stuff that Sony's doing could probably maybe potentially be in the MCU as well. Like, obviously, they're building off their own universe with, you know, Tom Hardy, and, you know, maybe they'll want to bring in Tom Holland into that stuff too eventually. But, like, you know, since since they have been having Tom Holland be in the, uh, in the uh, MCU, there's potential that some of this stuff could also be in there as well. So, like, who who do you get as fucking Kraven? I can tell you who I'd pick. Yeah. Who uh, would you pick? And, I and think... they, they've been in a Marvel movie, okay. but not a good one. All right. Who is it? In my opinion. I, I'd get Oscar Isaac, man. That's who I'd go with, probably. Just off the top of my head, that's who I'd go oh. with. I think, he's, I think he's got a good look for it, okay. to be honest. All right, all right. That's, that's not who I was expecting. That's not who I was thinking when you were saying that. But yeah, he's been in the uh, the X-Men stuff. He's, he was Apocalypse. Yeah. Which, who cares about that? That's not, you know. He, no, fuck that. Nobody cares about that. <laughs> That's not even canon anymore, you know. I I think he would look great as Craven if you go, you know. To uh, be honest, that's not somebody that I would have picked. Like that's not that's not who I picture when I would think of that. But honestly, I'd kind of be, I'd be, uh, huh? I want to see like some like some concept art or something of that. Or, yeah, yeah, I want I want to see what what that would look like because that's hey, some of you artists out there, hook us up. I'll fucking show you shit on stream. I'll shout you out everywhere. That's not who I was thinking of, you know. So in- interesting, interesting. Yeah, I I'd, I'd go with that personally. I I, I don't I have no idea who I'd pick. I'd have to think about it more. Man, that's I, just I, that's just what popped into my brain. I was like, who would I pick? Who, who's it, who's who's right here in the in what I know right now? Who would I go with if I had to? And what really makes me think about it is I'm picturing how he looks in in the Dune promo photos that we've seen. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah, with like the beard and, and and kind of like an old. I see. I'd go with probably like a little older Craven. I don't know what they want to go for in this. In this, yeah. um, but that's what I would go for personally. A little older, a little bit more of, of a wizened hunter kind of deal. Um, but yeah, that that right now that would be my pick if I was making this movie. Interesting, yeah. I don't know. I I have to check out uh, Triple Frontier to see if this guy's the director. You know how how you know how what his directing style is and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I I'm I'll be I'll be intrigued because we've been wanting to see Craven in a movie for years, man. Like, and now that they're talking about maybe giving him his own movie, I mean, I don't know how that's gonna go, but we'll see. I I, I we'll when see. you get your pick, Daniel, I want you to tell us who it is on stream <laughs> or on sure. Cantina. Sure, yeah. Um, I, I'm, I, I, I'm curious. I, I just got to think about it. I haven't really, you know, haven't no, really that's fair. About that stuff. That's anyway. fair. It was, it was completely off the top of the head. They're like, who would you pick? Yeah. yeah. So we have DC fandom going on right now. So we're shifting from Marvel to DC. Uh, we have some things that have been announced, uh, such as they, a, like a couple of days ago before today. Matt Reeves tweeted out um, it, the the official logo of the Batman, with alongside some really cool uh, Jim Lee artwork. Which, if you want to check that out, yeah, I think cool. the logo looks fucking cool, dude. That's a cool looking Batman logo. It's just Hell yeah, the Batman with red lettering, and then there's a bat in the in the in the words. I think that looks fucking cool. I like it. It looks great. It looks like it'd be on a comic book. I'm about it. Yeah, I think it looks really, really great. Good job to everybody out there for working on that. And then the artwork by Jim Lee. I mean, come on. Jim Lee's the legend, Fuck dude. It like, looks so you... good. Dude, I want that signed. I want that signed in on my wall. That looks great. Yeah, look at that shit. That looks incredible, dude. That looks really badass. Fuck, I oh. wish I was an artist. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, so so they, 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 they tweeted this out for today's event that's currently going on right now. Uh... Which yeah, I, I I'm I'm very excited about this. I think they officially confirmed that this Batman is taking place in a different universe other than the DCEU stuff. Which yeah, I believe that's what I read. Which, which which we you know it was to be expected of. I imagined that would be the case, but it's cool that they finally confirmed it. Um. 
so yeah, I I really can't wait to hear more about this movie. There's been a couple of pictures out there that I saw, um, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll wait on po- on showing those off for a little bit. Uh, gotcha. But anyway, in other Batman news, it's con- it was confirmed uh, that Ben Affleck will appear alongside Michael Keaton as Batman in the movie, in the upcoming movie, The Flash. So we we get we get Batfleck and 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 the Keaton uh, in The Flash. So that that's going to be interesting. Th- this kind of Flashpoint, right? Basically, mm-hmm. that's, that's what we're getting. I, I think it's kind of weird that the first Flash movie we're getting is fucking Flashpoint, but I don't know. I mean, they they kind of DC kind of messed up their movies, and they, they kind of I don't want to. Well, they they kind of are a little bit forced to kind of like reset things a little bit with Flashpoint. So yeah, it's a little wonk. Um, yeah, it is a little exciting though because I'm actually kind of glad Batflix getting another. Swing, because I don't. I think I think he's he's. I think he fits the part of a bat. The Batman, that Batman, he looks great. Fucking in the suit, I thought. Yeah. And plus, we're getting my, my boy Keaton. Yeah, right. So that's. I mean, that's pretty exciting. If this movie ever gets made, <laughs> you know. I mean they they were talking about it at fandom today. So I mean. I, it's it's got to happen, right? It's, it's got to happen. We'll see. Yeah, we'll I've see, said dude. that about so many things. I know, I know, I know. But like, I wanted to. I wanted yeah, to I, happen. No, yeah, same. I, I, I also. I think I the odds of it happening are higher than the odds of it not happening. For sure, for sure. But I, I get what you're saying, though. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. It's just the, the Flash has been plagued by a lot of things. It really has. They've had like 10 million directors on yeah, this thing, and it's like, God damn, guys, what the hell is going on here? Tom, Tommy was uh, was putting in his contract right now. Is he going to direct yeah, he, it? Is he going to play the Joker? Or what? <laughs> uh, Jesus. Did you ever watch that clip of him as fucking Heath Ledger's Joker, dude? Oh, my God. No, I don't think I did. I don't think I've ever oh actually seen anything. Oh, my God. Dude, you need to watch that. That shit is... Dude, just so, go to YouTube. <laughs> Tommy was so Joker. That's all you need to look up. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious dude but anyway that's like you can watch that on your own time or whatever like it, it's it's funny dude it's fucking hilarious anyway so yeah uh we have more dc news uh the rock dwayne the rock johnson your boy yeah uh, we we're, we're smelling what he's cooking because he <laughs> he put up on instagram a post uh, uh, uh about the uh the hierarchy of power in the dc universe is about to change so uh check check this out here man talking about a uh, black adam oh hey yeah let's zoom in Quick, so what I can you smell what black adam is cooking there we go there's also a, i think there's a tweet out there somewhere uh from the rock i right, let me see if i can get there real quick while you got this up yeah Wow, that's loud! Holy shit! I, pl- I hit the yep. I hit the play button. God damn! Yeah, it, it's it's. I'm just glad we're finally getting more oh, more so info about this fucking movie, dude. Yeah. Because, like, they've been talking about this shit for, like, a decade, I feel like, dude. And, like, we're only just now fucking hearing about this shit, dude. Like, it's 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 pretty nuts. So, yeah, he tweeted out some stuff, too, but it's basically what that, that video that I just uh, yeah, gotcha. showed you there. Which is pretty cool. I think they're gonna show off more of this today at the fandom or whatever. But that's kind of all I'm seeing for it right now. I just um, I love The Rock as a villain, so I hope you know. I don't know how villainous he'll be in this, but 
yeah. uh, it'll be interesting to see his chops, you know, mm-hmm. how they go. So I'm, you know, this is one of those things that I feel has been going on for a long time too, right? Like the rock as black Adam, he's fought, he's fought for it. Right. I think for a long time, he's wanted it. Like, and I think that's another thing that kind of makes me excited about it is like, he legitimately wants to play this character like real fucking bad. So yeah, dude, you stuck with it for ye- again for years, dude. This has been a long time coming, man. Like they've been. I remember hearing about this fucking movie like forever ago. Dude. Like it's they they've been developing this shit for like like I don't know how like it's been it's been forever, dude. It's been forever. The fact that he's so into it is kind of what makes me excited about it. Because when you got somebody that really cares about the character and 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 that in a in a movie. Shit, son. They gon' they gonna do their absolute best to pull it off and make it look great, so fuck me. I'm excited for it. Yeah, so now we're gonna move into the actual uh DC fandom news from today, which we have a, a official main trailer for Wonder Woman 1984. Trailer time. Trailer time. Yeah, we got a couple. Uh, we got a couple of videos here to end off the uh, the movie news for the day. So we have you know little little Diana, the Amazons training and doing all that. Ride stuff. the lightning. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen this before, by the way, or no? I caught. Part of it, okay. but I didn't have it with sound. I caught part okay. of it. Okay, I haven't cool. watched the full thing. Gotcha. Yeah, because it, it again, it just came out today, like earlier today. I, I yeah. watched like right, like again before we started streaming today. So, of course, you got Steve Trevor back somehow. I don't know how they bring him back, but he's back. Uh, it's gonna be cool seeing the '80s setting in this, you know. My, I. Uh, so I went to get my mom went to get food today while she went out to get some stuff and she brought me back some food and I was eating with my dad because we've been having a meeting all day with me and my dad and my grandfather yeah. about some stuff going on and we were eating and he was drinking his cup and he held it up and he said what's Wonder Woman 84 because it has they got the cups from where we were oh, eating at yeah. I said that's the sequel to Wonder Woman you remember Wonder Woman we, we watched it you really liked it he's like oh yeah I remember I was like yeah this oh, yeah. is a new movie coming so he's I think he's interested in it. <laughs> nice. That's cool, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah I, my dad I, I, my dad loves Wonder Woman, dude. <laughs> yeah, I did too. I really like Wonder Woman a lot. It's 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 up there in, in my favorite of the DCEU. I Man of Steel is still number one to me, but I really do like Wonder Woman a lot. And this one looks good too, you know? So Yeah. I'm 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 curious to know more about uh Pedro Pascal's character, and then of course we get to see Cheetah finally here. Which I know is something that you've been wanting to see, right? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to see how she looks, and which I, yeah, I don't, know. I, don't I don't get little... like a I don't get a good look at it really. Like it's so quick, and it's like mm. it's I can definitely tell it's like super CG though. Yeah, yeah I mean it. Yeah, which is like eh, when is but... this supposed to come out? This movie? Yeah. Uh, I think. It's supposed to. They've been shifting the uh, the release date so damn much that I am not even sure like when it is. Cause I I swear I thought it was supposed to be like originally it was supposed to be in the summer, but then they pushed it back and like like it it would have been out already. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I, I it, it was supposed to come out. So here, here's here's the timeline on this. It was originally supposed to hit June 5th. Then it got pushed back to August 14th. But then they're like, all right, we're going to push it back. So October 2nd is the current uh, target for this. Mm-hmm. So October. October 2nd. Because, yeah, I remember, it was, I remember it was supposed to come out sometime in the summer. And then they pushed it back to earlier this month. But then they're like, no, we can't make it. So they're pushing it back again. So Okay. I was just... I was seeing how much time they had to kind of work on Cheetah a bit, but I don't know. I mean, they have they have some time still, you know. I'm I'm sure they'll they'll be working on the movie and probably until like right before it comes out or something, you know. 
Like, I won't lie, this is the cheetah I remember from the fucking Super Friends, so... <laughs> well, fuck, yeah, I was dude, gonna the put the picture friends. up there, but it oh, yeah, wake the fuck out. Um, you know, this is, this is what I remember. That's, yeah, the, very, dude, that, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the very first cheetah that I fucking... <laughs> Yeah, dude, uh, fucking, uh, fucking Super Friends, dude. Hell yeah. You know what? I want to go back and watch some episodes of Super Friends because it's been a Me fucking too, hot dude. minute. <laughs> it's been forever since I've seen some of these. And I used to, I, I, for the most part, I enjoyed that show, dude. <laughs> we should pick fucking, out like some, some episodes and be like, we should watch these and just fucking do it. Fucking Wonder Twin Powers activate, dude. Activate. Fuck me. Bizarro. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, mean, I really, I really, I really need, need to rewatch Super Doom. Friends. I really mm-hmm. need to rewatch Super Friends. Yeah. I see that about a lot of stuff, though. Like, I've been wanting to rewatch Batman the Anime Series for the longest time, too, and I just... Bro, I would love to do that, too. See, anyway. What's next? Uh, we have some a couple Suicide... The Suicide Squad videos. So we have... So, for a while now, we've been wondering what... The, this movie has a hell of a cast, if you recall, Josh. Uh, and we've been wondering what some of these guys, what some, what some of these people are going to portray. Like, who are they going to portray in this movie? Like, who are they? Who are they going to be? We will want. We we wonder no longer, dude. We have the roll call here. So I'm gonna put that up for you, man. In case you're wondering who's who, we are gonna see who these people are. Oh hell yeah! I haven't of seen course, this by the way. Of course, we have Amanda Waller returning with, or Viola Davis returning as Amanda Waller. We have your boy uh, Joel Kinnaman as uh, as Rick Flag coming back as well. Then we got uh, your boy Michael Rooker right here as uh, as this guy, uh, Savant. And then we got uh, Flula Borg Javelin. as Javelin. Of course, the the magnificent uh, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. You got your boy David Dismalski and his polka dot yeah. man, which is gonna be interesting. I I feel. Yeah, uh, I like David Smolchin. Daniela Melchior as Ratcatcher 2. Uh, Idris Elba as fucking uh, Bloodsport, which a lot of people were expecting him to be Bronze Tiger, and there everybody was wrong. You got King Shark. <laughs> you got uh, Mei Ling as uh, Mongol. You got Peter Capaldi as the Thinker. Uh, Alice Braga. Uh, who else we got here? Pete Davidson as who's this guy? This is uh Blackguard. Some of the I'll be honest, some of these characters I'm not familiar with. <laughs> Nathan Fillion. Yeah, yeah, look at your boy Nathan Fillion, dude. TDK. Uh. Saw, Sean Gunn as Weasel, which this is gonna be a, a crazy looking character by the looks of it. Hey. And of course you got, you got Jai Courtney as a uh, Captain Boomerang. Uh, oh your boy, shit! John Cena as the, yeah. The cast alone makes this look fucking nuts, and I am about it. Right? Look at all the names. <laughs> look, look at all the names. Pause the thing and look at all those names. I mean, look at that shit, dude. Oh, Margot God, Robbie, right Andrew Selber, John Cena, Joe Kinnaman, Jai Courtney, Peter Capaldi, Alice Braga, Pete Davidson, David Dismashian. Michael Rooker, Taika Waititi, Nathan Fillion, Storm Reed, Daniela Melchior, Steve A. G., who I think Steve A. G. is King Shark, Sean Gunn, Joaquin Cosio, Juan Ciego Boto, Julio Ruiz, Flula Borg, uh, Tanache, Mei Ling, Jennifer Holland, and Viola Davis. That is a heck of a cast, dude. I think that having here's what I think though, having all these names. Some of these people aren't going to make it out through the entire movie, right? People are going to die within the first like two minutes of this movie. They have to. I, I, like, like, look at fucking John Cena. He's probably going to die within like five minutes, dude. That's a goofy yeah. ass costume. Dude. Yeah, like what I like. What I like about it isn't necessarily the amount of people in it. It's it's um just kind of how crazy they all look, right? How yeah. ridiculous they look. The, like they don't give a they, fuck. They're like they're going in and looking nuts, kind of deal. Yeah, they they look at look at. I mean, they, you were laughing at Nathan Phil. He looks ridiculous, dude. Yeah, sure no, he himself. straight up does. I love it though. I love the goofy comic book shit. No, you know? I dig it too. I dig it. <laughs> yeah, I dig it. I mean, look at Michael Rooker too, dude. He looks fucking nuts, dude. He <laughs> looks dot funny man. as hell. Yeah, polka dot man. That's funny, dude. That's just great. I dig it. It's gonna be fun, man. I think this movie is gonna be. I think it's gonna be a fun one. Yeah. 
I trust. We'll uh, I trust. Uh, I trust James Gunn on this. Yeah, just some. Some of them look so ridiculous that they're gonna die real goddamn quick. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what if I'm wrong though, and they live through the whole movie? That'd be kind of ridiculous. I mean, that'd be nuts, dude. But <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see, right? Dude, John Cena looks so ridiculous. Do you know what the fuck? Yeah, he's no, a, he's he's a big, he, he looks like a fucking. He looks like a. He looks like a almost like a superhero RoboCop, basically. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Th- oh, they're they're definitely gonna pull a slip not from the last movie. I think. Yeah. Gonna, like, here's here's this guy from the squad. They're they're probably gonna kill off a few of these guys. That's for sure. Somebody's gonna go running away and get their brain blown out. It's something. Something's gonna happen. There, 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 there's too many people. <laughs> you look so ridiculous in my costume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be fun, dude. I I I look forward to it. Anyway, uh, we have a little exclusive sneak peek, which you can put up there as well. All right, sorry, John Cena again. Holy fuck! Yeah, hey, up, this this, so this I haven't seen because it came out while we were while we started the show, but it's just a little like behind the scenes on like filming and and all that kind of stuff, you know. All right, got it open here. I Which love Joel is- Kinnaman, by the way. I I yeah. think he's great. This is something you guys are gonna want to watch with audio, by the way. Yeah. Look at fucking John Cena, dude. Jesus. Also, I like how they changed up uh, Harley's look in this, but she still looks fucking badass. No, no, she looks great. I love her character design. They changed her look up in each one of these movies so far, and she looks still very fucking fantastic. The squad. Jesus Christ, Weasel looks nuts. So, John Cena describes his character as a douchey Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, dude. It's so shiny. Really? Look at, look at this guy. That looks uh, ridiculous. It really does. Like, it's such a, like in the best Also, way, look right? how fucking big his arms are. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, he's fucking John Cena, dude. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm curious, like, how big of a role fucking Idris Elba is going to have in this, dude. Yeah, that's kind of like the one I'm kind of very interested in. His uh, his armor looks cool. His helmet looks neat. Yeah. Oh, Joel Kinnaman literally says, don't get too attached. But yeah, people are going to die. Yeah, well, yeah, no <laughs> shit, dude. No fucking <laughs> shit, right? <laughs> yeah, but to me it looks fun, dude. I, I, I'm looking for. I, I'm, I'm I, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm about it, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm about the goofy, wacky craziness of this. No, this I'm glad they're, here. I'm glad they're doing that and taking themselves not as serious, right? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of about it. Yeah, for sure, man. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So I think that's all we have from DC Fandom trailer wise at the moment. Uh, at the yeah, at the moment because there's gonna be more stuff coming. But I'm 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 looking through right now currently to see if there's anything else that dropped. Because again, guys, this is literally it's 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 happening right now. As we, I got as a we, super dark picture of Robert Pattinson Pattinson in the Batman. In costume, yeah, I saw those. There's like three of them, I think. It's it's like this one I have is super fucking dark. I let me see if I can hold on. I didn't know if we wanted to show those off or not. I like I don't even think you could see it good on stream, to be honest with you. It's so fucking dark. There's yeah, there's there's I have I have three of them right here that I'm looking at. And they're kinda We'll just wait until we get, go. Like, go look stuff. them up, guys. If you want to see them, go look them yeah. up because they're, they're just not going to show good with me showing them. It's even hard for me to see it on. Uh, it's just really dark. It's super yeah. fucking dark. Yeah, yeah, just check them out if you're if you're uh, interested. They're they're out there. Um, the the only other thing I have one last thing here for us, and yeah, that, that is the the tenant final trailer. I have not watched this. 
So there it is. This is the three minute uh, three minute trailer here. And uh, again, this movie looks interesting. I- I'm still very like very uh, intrigued by it, despite hearing about this fucking movie every other week. <laughs> And Christopher and Nolan and stuff. This is the very end of it going to be Christopher Nolan finally accepts it's not going to be in theaters. <laughs> no, yeah. they say at the end that there's like early access screenings and shit, September 3rd or whatever. Interesting. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it definitely like, I get like serious Inception vibes from this. Like I wouldn't be, I was talking to Dababa about this yesterday. Mm-hmm. Like, like I wouldn't be surprised if like they do a thing like what what they did with Split, and they kind of like at the you don't know it's like well I mean not that you don't know but like at the very like end of the movie or something they're like oh it, this was connected to fucking Inception like how they did with Split and Unbreakable or whatever yeah so I could see them doing something like that maybe but I don't know I just it, it, they deal with time a lot in this movie so that's kind of why I'm like oh Inception but I don't know maybe maybe it's not connected I don't know maybe just Maybe fucking Christopher Nolan just nuts over time all the time or whatever. <laughs> also, I just said time twice, but fuck it. We're live. Dude. Time, so time. Shit, shit, shit just the time, time. I think it works out great that you said that. Uh, Daniel went back a few seconds and <laughs> said it again. <laughs> in time. You know. yeah. uh, they look sharp in those suits, so they're fucking dope. I was gonna, I was going to mention that. Yeah. But they look good. Yeah, which by the way, Robert Pattinson in this are our, our yeah. new Batman. He's in this man. People have been wanting to. S- People usually judge him off of Twilight and stuff, and they haven't seen his newer movies and whatnot. This is gonna give the mainstream audience something to watch before Batman, you know. So I think it's uh, I think it's good. And then of course you know you got uh, John David Washington who is who great. is great. Oh. He is yeah. awesome. I I I learned about him from Ballers. I had nearly seen anything else with him. If you haven't seen Ballers, which is football I have show, it. I have, with the I have it, But for me, it was Black Klansman that I got introduced to him. Yeah, and he is he is great. Yeah, he's he really is good though. And yeah, I mean, this movie looks like it, it's uh, you know, it's like it looks like something I want to watch. For it's sure, got, it looks like it's got a ton of action in it. Yeah. This, this would you know how we talked about Mulan and early access. This would probably be one that I would spend some money to see, right? Like, yeah. But fucking, you know, Christopher Nolan, dude, he doesn't want to do that shit with his. Yeah. Movie. He, he's he's a he's a pure classic cinema dude. He wants you want he wants. He wants his movies to be seen in the, you know, in fucking, in in the cinema with like fucking, you know, thirty millimeter film or whatever. <laughs> they should, uh, they should do a re-release after this COVID shit's over, if it, you know, however it, yeah, ends up being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, that's uh, um, what was I gonna say? That's all I got for the uh. The movie news. Movie news is over. Everybody, over. Everybody, wait and see if there's anything else. I don't think so. I've, I've been trying to keep an eye on the fandom stuff, see if there's anything else dropping. But I hear there's something going on with Static Shock, but I don't know what it is. It's probably just a comic or something, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean that's all I got from a tweet from Polygon. This talking about new stories. Okay, here it here. is. New new Static Shock digital series debuting February 2021. Yeah, okay, so it's it's, it's a comic. All right, cool. Which, by the way, I love Static Shock. I want him to have his own movie. Um, yeah, uh, I guess we can hit our main topic. If anything, like major drops, which I don't think it will. While we're talking about the main topic, we'll talk about it as we before we close out for the show. But we're going to talk about our main topic now, which is we watched a movie, an old movie. And one of our retro rewinds that we do every once in a while where Daniel and I pick a movie. And that's from a for something we haven't seen in a while. Like it, it doesn't even necessarily have to be like an old movie, but it's just something we haven't seen in a really long time. We want to talk about. Uh, and we picked uh, the Hidden Fortress, uh, which I've never seen before, or if it's, if I have, it's been so long I fucking remember it. 
which came out in like fuck when did this come out fucking 1958 in japan yep um have you seen the hidden fortress before this you've you've seen it right i have yeah i had not and so it, i so that's yeah. why it, yeah i was gonna say it'll be interesting to hear like your thoughts on this because it's your first time watching it right yeah uh and i don't even think i've watched a lot of Akira Kurosawa's films, just to be blunt, uh, other than like the things that have been remade in the westerns that yeah. I've seen. Um, Which, for those of you who do not know or are not knowledgeable on 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 this, or yeah, yeah, just didn't know, or, or like you know, this was the movie that inspired George Lucas to create Star Wars. Yeah. So it's pretty pretty cool, and and, and you can see the similarities here and oh, there, yeah. which you know. I'm sure you know. I I I kind of want to let like Josh talk a little bit about it more because like he's you know, he watched it for the first time and whatnot. But yeah, we'll we'll, we'll definitely get into it. Uh, uh, it's gonna be fun. It has you know the legendary uh, Toshiro Mifune uh, as uh, General uh, Rokurata Makabe, uh, and of course you know you got you got the princess again with Star Wars connections. You got the princess Yuki as like you know the princess Leia of the story, and like you got the two. The two bumbling idiots as like the three PO and R two kind of thing, but but we'll get into that stuff uh, here in a bit. But uh, yeah, nineteen fifty eight, black and white, uh, classic uh, Akira Kurosawa movie, uh, The Hidden Fortress. So yeah, yeah let's let's uh, let's get into it, shall we? Yeah, um, let's open up with. Uh, did you like the movie? Do you like the movie, Daniel? Oh yeah, I love it. I Absolutely. I like it a lot too. Um, you know, I wasn't. I don't know what I expected. I I wasn't expecting as much comedy as actually is in this movie, or, or parts that are funny. Uh, and it's mostly due to the two bumbling idiots. Yeah, <laughs> and just some of the um, the hijinks they get up to. Um, but yeah, you definitely see the the similarities to it. Um, to uh, Star Wars, rather, uh, or Star Wars has to this is what I should say. Yeah, uh, and and those two characters in particular, and I'm like Jesus. Um, uh, the opening of the film is definitely very uh, cool. Um, like the, they're just walking along, right? Nothing, nothing exists in these characters' worlds, right, until it appears on screen. Like um, in the the opening scene, it's the two uh, peasants. I'll just call them peasants. Um, Mm -hmm. Are walking along and kind of talking and chatting to each other and arguing at points. And and the next thing you know, here just comes some random, I guess, samurai warrior character that's like <laughs> doing all sorts of dramatic movements like he's being chased, like he sees something coming. Yeah. And then, uh, like, like, they should have known a long time ago that somebody's being chased behind them, right? But it doesn't exist, right? Until it appears on camera and you see it. Um. Which is a very interesting uh, storytelling uh, trait of mm. this um, film. Uh, uh, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I really like it. I like the characters a lot. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't know how much I like the princess. She just seemed really loud a lot of the time. Mm. <laughs> uh, 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 she just seemed really, really loud and and screamy, um, which is kind of like I guess that's kind of her character. I don't. I'm, I'm not saying like I don't like the act actress or anything. It's just the characters. Yeah. I get what she. I, I get what they're going for. I'm not. I don't think I'm necessarily supposed to like her. To be honest, I think the character you're really supposed to like is uh, General Makabe, right? Like, cause yep. he's like the main character, and he's kind of doing his duty to this this clan and the, and this princess, and that's kind of like. Who you're really supposed to root for? Mm -hmm. I feel like, um, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like the main. He's like the main guy, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I, I did like that character a lot. I do like the bumbling idiots, even though sometimes I'm like, "What the fuck are you guys doing?" Yeah, you're those stuck. guys. Those guys <laughs> are like, like the R two and three and three PO of this, you know? They're yeah. Like, like, wandering around like like three PO and R two like on Tatooine when they you know, get, hop out of the fucking uh, skate pod, you know? They're just, like, bumbling around everywhere, like, fucking, like, shit, like, talking shit to each other, like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's funny. Uh, yeah. 
And then, of course, we can't forget, you know, one of the, the driving things in this movie. Gold. Gold, yeah, gold. Gotta, gotta, gotta love your gold. Uh, and they have to fucking haul that shit around everywhere. You know how badly your back would be killing you if you had to haul that much gold around? Yeah, speaking of which, how we, what about, what'd you think of those fucking, uh... <laughs> so, <laughs> The, the the short shorts and then the big old fucking oh. uh, packs that they had, man. So after after playing a fuckload of uh, Ghost of Tsushima, right, I got used to like characters having pants on. Nobody wears pants in this movie, hardly. Like they all got like these super short, like I don't know, I guess short shorts, yeah, or these little wraps, like almost like whitey tidies in a way, I guess, kind of pants. And I'm like, yeah. wow, there's a lot of people that didn't wear pants in Japan. I didn't really think about. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I, I'll admit it did make me laugh more than anything. Uh, I was like, but yeah. they look no, because like no, what makes me laugh about it isn't because they're like, oh, they're in the drawers, right? That's not what makes me laugh. What makes yeah. me laugh is like they're they're armored from the waist up, like in like super heavy duty looking armor at some points, but from the waist down, they're just fucking nothing. Other than like the little little like uh, underpants looking deals, that's what kind of cracked me up about it because it looks kind of silly when you're just yeah. completely armored from up here all over here, and then like from here down, there's nothing. <laughs> it makes for like a funny image. Yeah, um, no, I get you. Yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely funny looking. Definitely. Um. Uh, because at the end, I'm gonna skip to the end when. Uh, when we we get get to the end, and he's like in full battle armor at the end of the movie for no reason other than he's in full battle armor. I'm like, that's what I was expecting this entire time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he looks fucking good in it. He, he looks fucking dope in that armor. Yeah. Um. Well, I will say that if that if there's definitely he's done. Uh. A, a bunch of other movies where you can see him like whooping ass like that, dude. Like, yeah, like, no, no, it doesn't bother me at all. I just thought it, yeah. it's just, it's, I just, I wasn't expecting it. And then just the, the absurdity of a lot of other characters, particularly like in the army that are just armored from the waist up and have nothing down below. <laughs> it just seems ridiculous and kind of funny to me. That's all. Yeah, yeah. No, I get you. Yeah. <laughs> who yeah, who and, am and I again, to? I don't know history or anything. Yeah, Maybe yeah, they did no, no, like yeah. that. So, and, and, <laughs> and, and the reason why it's funny though is because, like you said, we, you know, you, you we, we, we both played a bunch of uh, Ghost of Tsushima where these motherfuckers are all like geared up and looking badass as hell and whatnot. And then you watch the movie and then they like, you know, they're running <laughs> around in fucking undies and shit. And fucking, you know, it, it, it looks funny. That's another thing is like it's hard to gauge. Um, the temperature in a black and white movie, right? So I'm like, well, in this one scene, they have a fire and they're saying it's cold, but they, they look like they're sweating terribly in every other scene. So I'm like, what's the weather? That was like the big thing. Like they're running around with no pants on, so it's got to be warm, right? Like, and, but in that one scene, they're like, it's kind of chilly. You got the got the fire going. Meanwhile, they're like dripping sweat, and I'm like, cold? You're sweating like that? <laughs> it's hard to tell in in black and white films uh, temperature. So. I was like, what what's, what season is it in Japan in this movie? Um But overall I really liked it. Um it's it's very easy to follow, you know exactly what's going on. Uh it's not like overcomplicated at any points. Um there is the occasional weird edit, but just because I'm like, wait, what? What happened? It felt like we missed like a scene that got cut in uh, once it was like one spot early on that really stood out to me. Uh, but it's the only one I, I off the top of my head. I can't remember where exactly it was at. Um, but you know, I, I played it up as like this was made in 1958. This is not that big a deal. It didn't distract me enough to be like I don't know what's going on. I knew exactly what was going on the entire time in this movie, uh, for the most part, anyway. Um, I like how he just randomly shows up. Uh, so yeah, the fucking like, peasant, the peasants are like trying to fucking find this gold, trying to make a fire, and fucking Makabe just shows up and like fucking takes over, and they go along with him, right? Like just randomly. Yeah. <laughs> Josh is like, I wish I could have that confidence, man. Just yeah, no, he just walks, walks right in and takes their campfire. 
<laughs> which speaking on that, I, one of my favorite parts is when he's like, "I won't move until you give me my reward," and he just like sits down, like he just like plants himself down. He's like, "I'm not gonna move until you give me my reward. I want the reward, damn it." That's funny. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it's just funny because he shows up and he's wearing like the short shorts too, and he just shows up and he just struts the fuck around, and he's like. And I did notice this. I can't help but notice it. I'm like, this dude has really muscular legs. I guess I would show him off too if it was me. Right? I mean, why, 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 why not? Why wouldn't like you? the bro squats. Like, for sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty great. But, but no, the moment he just kind of walked in and plopped down in front of their fire, like, it just, he looks ridiculous because he's mean mugging them the whole time. He's got this yeah. short short uh short shorts on. And he's just mean mugging him and just walks right over and sits the fuck down. And it's just like, God damn. This, you know this dude's a badass? Because he's got the short shorts on. And he just walks in and sits down. It gives no fucks at all about these yeah. two peasants. Exactly. <laughs> uh, like this is your camp is my camp now. You know? <laughs> he should have like without even looking at him was like, look at me, I'm the captain now, you know? Yeah. Uh, they just, yeah, like you said, they just went along with 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 everything. You know? Um. But yeah, the, you know, there, there's there's classic Star Wars stuff in there, like uh, like the wipes and whatnot, and you know. Yes. Like Which you know. The, I did notice what? that. Yeah. And I, I was gonna say I did notice that at one point the little wipe. I was like, oh. Yeah. Just um, classic filmmaking, you know, things such as that. Then, yeah, I mean, again, like there's a lot of similarities between between Star Wars stuff uh, that that you can catch just by watching the movie. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, would you, yeah. So we were talking about the ending a little bit earlier. What would what, you think about the ending? Like they kind of had like a little bit of a of a jump there, right? Mm-hmm. I thought it was great. Um, the um, the whole leading up to okay, they failed and gotten captured. To uh, the other guy joining them. Oh fuck! What was his name? Which uh, the traitor that turned traitor and helped them escape and then joined them at the end. I thought that was cool. I was like, fuck yeah, he's joining their side. And he's like fighting him off. I'm like, I'm for sure he was gonna die. Like if I was telling this story, I would have killed that character if I was the writer <laughs> on it. But at the same time, I'm glad that they didn't because you get to see him and Makabe at the end, fucking badass armored, like almost advisors to the princess at this point. And I'm like, oh, that's yeah. I would I would leave him alive too. Look like, look at the image it makes. She's the princess now, and she has two badass, not just bodyguards, but. Uh, uh, two loyal um, people with years of experience in battle. It's smart move. The smart move. The simple move in storytelling would be to kill him off, and that's it. The smart move is to keep him alive. Um, so you definitely learn a lot from, uh, in terms of storytelling, just from watching this movie. Um, the ending of the movie. It makes me want to see what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> no, it makes me want to see like a sequel. Um uh because it also because also it makes me think of of Ghost of Tsushima in a way. Um yeah, I can see that. Of rebuilding your clan. Um But all in all, uh big fan of the movie. Music was great. Uh we didn't talk about it too much. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we actually have them, but yeah, the music, of course, yeah. It's true. Um, the the fight scenes are definitely 1958, <laughs> but that's kind of what I expected going in. Um, yeah. The duel that the duel when he goes to, when Makabe goes to the uh, camp, he chases off a bunch of fucking dudes that are after them, right? Or he kills yeah, them, he, mm -hmm. and rides right into an enemy camp, and gives no fucks no fucks given in this camp. Like, I'll fucking fight you all. And, uh, and there's something I wanted to point out is, like, they start... 
He, the, the other general that he ends up fighting, who's the same guy, whose name I can't remember what his fucking name is. Um, it's like, you don't, you, you don't stand a chance against General Makabe. And, and, and he starts to, uh, oh, Makabe's like, should we have a duel? And it's just so, like, to the point, like, yeah, let's fucking duel, right? Like, go pick a spear, any spear. And he starts testing out all these dudes' spears. And I just love how terrified they are of this man, right? It truly impresses upon you how deadly, strong, and important this character is. Like, they have him outnumbered by so much. But every time he waves an arm around, they just fucking are shaking in their boots, right? Like, he is truly a monster on the battlefield. And it, and, it, and it happens when they're dueling as well. Every time he swings the spear around, like, the entire army that's there watching this duel take place is just fucking... Just cowering out of the way, dodging something that's not even close to really hitting them. But, it, like, it's funny. It's funny in a way, but it also impresses upon you just how fucking terrifying this character is to these guys. They know him by reputation as how deadly of a fighter, fighting warrior he is. And how even though they have him so outnumbered, they do not stand a fucking chance. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a lot how I kind of envision Flamerend for Flamerend's last stand, right? In our D&D game. Um, that happens. Uh, that's kind of how I kind of envisioned that character being. Uh, and that's totally... I could totally see that being this as well. So it's so... Yeah, that was one of my favorite parts, was the, was the big duel that they have. And it goes on for a long time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It is a yeah. long duel. I like it too, though. It's, it's, it's just fun seeing, like, these two guys just, like, size each other up, of course, and, like, you know, just fucking try to fight each other, man. And then the whole, like, the whole thing where, like, you know... When when they when they get captured and he's like, oh, you know, you should have fucking killed me because you know, keeping me alive, you know. The the the, the, the it's the whole thing that like it it made me like think about like Ghost of Tsushima, you know, with the whole honor thing, you know, like mm -hmm. like the decision of uh, what's his name, uh, uh, fuck, Lord Shimura, and you know, like whether mm -hmm. you should keep him alive or. or, 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 or or, or, you know, kill him off or whatever, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So Definitely, kinda, yeah. Kinda, you, I'd relate, you know, I, like, related those two things together a little bit to me. Yeah. Especially I definitely, after playing that. I definitely, see, I definitely see the links in it, right? Like, I can definitely yeah. see it. Um, I have a trailer up, guys, just for the Hidden Fortress, but it is in 240p, so good luck uh, <laughs> yeah. understanding any of it. Um. Uh, but yeah, I understand everybody's motivation. Um, so they they make some fucking funny faces in this movie. Yeah. Um, I know what everybody wants for the most part, and I was what what most surprised me about the duel was that they dueled with spears instead of swords. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like that doesn't in modern day, right? The sword is the ultimate fucking weapon in almost any martial arts movie type movie in any kind of like samurai film it's always the sword right so i thought it was very interesting that for this big duel they choose the spear and duel, duel with spears so i liked that i thought oh that's different from modern day shit um Um. No, yeah, I get you. Yeah, it's it's because yeah, because like you said, most of the time we see like, like you said, like swords in 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 a duel or whatever, you know. So it, mm -hmm. I, it's it's just neat to see like different uh, uh, different just different weapons utilized in the in the in a in a in a duel, you know, because you get to see how like these people utilize them. And it's just it's just rare nowadays to see like anything other than swords. So. Yeah, like everybody's obsessed with like swords if it's like a that kind of movie, or a fucking gun if it's that kind of movie. Like a western, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So it's cool seeing them just use some something that's not like as 
common nowadays. You know? Yeah, and it's something I was was something that was common nowadays, right? Like, you'll occasionally get a movie where they use something like out of the ordinary, but I don't know if I've ever seen one, at least not in a long time, where they just straight up use a fucking spear. I want yep. that more. It's such a simple and weird thing to be like, yeah, I want that. It's something different. I think that's why I want it, right? Like, it, yeah. it's yeah. So uh, we should all expect uh, spears and frozen decimation, though. No? I'm kidding. The fucking Phoenix Guard. <laughs> yeah. Um, they already fought with the uh, pole arms or pikes yeah, or whatever yeah. the fuck. Um, uh, what few are left? Mm-hmm. Which God, I can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Can't wait. Um. Also, I wasn't expecting them to use muskets as much as they do in this movie. And they use them a lot. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of gunshots. Um, yeah, when you first watch it, you're like, whoa, shit, hold on. What? They got guns and stuff? What? Yeah, Say what? Yeah. I, play, I played a lot of Total War Shogun, the first one back in the day. And they had... The, they wouldn't have guns at the, the beginning of the game, from what I remember. The, you could buy them from, uh, like, Western traders that came. Uh, a little little video game uh, trivia for you guys. Um, trivia. Uh, but yeah, all in all, I uh, I like the movie. Um, yeah, it's different, also, obviously, because it's from the fucking 1958. 50s, yeah. Another thing, yeah, this is a Criterion Collection movie, so you know it's it's one of those. Uh, it's it's a classic, man. It's it's it's. It will forever be like you know in 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 history as like one of those movies that's like timeless. Um, so I, I would ask you who your favorite character is, but I already know it's Samurai Danny DeVito. So, <laughs> dude, that dude, <laughs> that dude looks just like you can't say I'm wrong. He totally looks like Samurai Danny DeVito. He uh, straight up does. I'm like, what the fuck is Samurai Danny DeVito doing here? Oh God. Uh, the moment I said it, I was like, he's fucking straight up Samurai Danny DeVito. He really is. The moment I saw <laughs> that character. Oh, uh, yeah. Th- there's, um, a lot of, there's a lot of funny looking guys in this movie. That's for sure. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Charge. Take him down. A, a lot of it, too, is just... Um, I love how the peasants just get away from everything. Just... just just because nobody gives a single fuck about them, right? Like, they give... Which is, like, the whole theme of the movie, right? Nobody cares enough about these people to check them out enough to figure out who the fuck they are, right? That's that's why the whole bluff that they're trying to do works. Although I feel like it doesn't work a lot in this movie. They have to fight a lot in this movie <laughs> because their plan just falls apart at every turn. I mean, they get fucking captured and all this shit just goes wrong, like, you know? Yeah. But, uh... But yeah, it's it's. <laughs> Look at the short shorts. Look at his <laughs> fucking legs. Sorry, I'm gonna pause this video right here. Look <laughs> how fucking muscular and huge this dude's legs are. Josh, look, look at him. Like, look at this man. This dude squats. They're huge. Uh, <laughs> uh, <that's laughs> Hey man, you gotta gotta rock them them short shorts, you know. If you... Her and that damn stick. <laughs> she loves it, dude. She, she swings that thing around everywhere. Prince, the fucking princess, man. I actually thought the girl they rescued was gonna betray them at the end, but I was wrong. <laughs> it goes the complete other direction, actually. Yeah, look at him. He moves the spear around, and all those fucking dudes jump back. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fight me, bruh. Let's like go. Like, they, they flinch at every turn. I love it. Can't fuck with that man, dude. Yeah, it's, 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 such, a, it's such a great movie, though. It had been, like, so long since I'd seen this. And it was really cool rewatching it, man. It kind of makes me want to rewatch some of the other, the other ones now, like Yojimbo and... I'm definitely gonna check some of the other ones out. Yeah, um, there, 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 there's so many good ones, dude. There's so many good ones. 
I just don't know if, if we ever going to do like I don't know if we ever want to do like retros again of some more of the Kurosawa films. If we I do, mean, I kind of want to save them. We we probably me. will. We probably will. But like since we just did one, it'll probably be a while, you know. Uh, yeah. So we'll probably we'll probably wait until we uh for a while. Um. But anyway, yeah, it's 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 cool, man. It, it's it's cool just going back and like seeing stuff that like in my case i haven't seen in so long or for you just like watching for the first time you know that are like just classic fucking movies dude that like that obviously you gotta like you know like you said you have to keep in mind that this is a movie from 1958 mm-hmm. and you have to you can't really like compare it to like modern day movies even though this is like a classic you know you still have to be like all right well there's gonna be things in it that you know there, there's there's movies out there that we love that are from like the 80s and shit that are like that don't necessarily like hold up nowadays in one way or another but that doesn't like diminish them in any way you know we still, uh-huh. we still love them and we always will you know so that's the, you know that that's you know you just gotta you just gotta look at these movies that way and, and like and like there's obviously stuff in there that is amazing and incredible which is why they're you know widely highly regarded as they are you know so it's just it's yeah. just really cool look, looking back at, at these movies. And you can just see the strings of modern film being attached to things in this film that other people took from it and put in their movies. So But nobody took the spear fight and I'm gonna take it. It's mine now. I'm gonna put my string on it for my movie that I'm never gonna make. <laughs> um <clears throat> go, but Josh, yeah. Josh is just gonna make a uh, an, an a spearman audio drama now. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck it. That'd be easy. All I need is a bunch of fighting sounds. That's easy. <laughs> and some punchy dialogue. Ah, oh, shit. <clears throat> I feel like I've been talking a lot. My throat is very sore. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've, we've been talking quite a bit today. I know I have, too. Uh, do you have anything you want to add on the uh, Hidden Fortress? Because I don't know what else to say about it other than I just really like it. It's good. I want to watch some of the other movies. Uh, I I just I think it's I think it's pretty fantastic. Uh, definitely was great rewatching. Um, one of the best movies ever, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Because uh, again, like it, it's it's really cool just seeing like. Like pre Star Wars, Star Wars kind of in a way, because like you know, again, this is like what inspired George to like make his Star Wars, and like you can see like again, like the two like you know the two peasant dudes being like the three PO and R two, and then you got Princess Yuki and Leia, and like you know you, you can kind of you can kind of relate. You know, the, you got the wipes, and they just just all, you can see the similarities as you watch it, and it was really cool for me to do that because again, it'd been like forever since I'd seen this movie, so. It was it was it was really cool. So that's that's kind of what I want to add on to it. And I would recommend like every if you if you're into Star Wars, if you like Star Wars, just watch interviews of George talking about Akira Kurosawa and and this movie, The Hidden Fortress, because it's top notch stuff. So I, that's what I have to you know have to add on here is just check that stuff out if you're if you're a Star Wars person and you, and you didn't you didn't know and you didn't know about this movie. First of all, if you didn't know about this movie and you're just hearing about it now, first of all, watch it. It's good. And then you can get it on all, Amazon. It's not even that expensive. It's super cheap. Yeah, Amazon. Uh, and then and then also, like I said, so watch the movie, and then watch if you're a Star Wars person, and even if you're not a Star Wars person, you can just watch George's interviews uh, talking about Akira Kurosawa and the Hidden Fortress because yeah. it's it's truly fascinating stuff in the history of filmmaking. Um, that you know, because Again, this movie influenced Star Wars. Star Wars changed movies forever. And there's a lot of stuff that George did for the Star Wars movies that, you know, have impacted and changed the way the movies are made nowadays, you know, from like Skywalker Sound to ILM and like just all this shit that like, dude, like who knows what like movies and and things would be like nowadays without having, if you didn't have some of these things. So, you know, so. It's just it's it's fast. If you're into movies, like just check check out those interviews and stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely, that's what I have to add in here as we as we close out the episode for today. I believe. Yeah. Uh, that's all I got to say um, about it. 
Um, highly recommend. Go check it out if you have not seen it. One of the things that's awesome about these retro rewinds is uh, we, I have sometimes one of us has seen movies that uh, the other hasn't. And yeah, sometimes it's something we haven't seen in a while. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's just a brand new adventure to get to see. Something, something we want to try and, and check out. So mm-hmm. I really like it. I, you know, I um, always like trying new things, I think, is like the big thing for me. I like seeing for movies sure. I've never seen, especially something like this that has such a big influence on other things that I love, like Star Wars and other cinema and Ghost of Tsushima, which, you know, video games and such. You're like, you, you can see it like so clearly what what is linked to that. Right. So it's uh, it's great. I, I enjoyed the movie. It was a lot of fun. Um, and it's very interesting going in with no expectations of what to expect, right? Like, because it's, uh, it, I wasn't expecting the, the, the funny bits, right? Like I always thought like they're black and white. They're probably super serious. The, <laughs> they're, you know, I'm sure it's like super serious samurai badassness, right? I was wrong. It's, it's still, and that doesn't make the movie bad. It's just like I shouldn't have put those perceptions on those things because it's got comedy, which is great. The fucking peasant idiots is great. <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. um, uh, it does have the badass, super serious characters that still fight and do badass things. Um, but there's also like this this little bit of levity there that that I think is great to for this kind of movie not to be super take itself too super seriously mm-hmm. and heavy. Like there's plenty of that out there, but I'm glad it has enough of a, of a self-awareness to be like, yeah, here's some comedy to help break up these moments of great uh, action and, 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 and badassness, I guess. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah if that's all we got... I'm, I'm, well, I'm looking at, like, DC Fandom. They're talking about the Snyder Cut stuff right now. Are um, they going to show, are they going to show a trailer? Are they supposed yeah. to show a trailer for this? Yeah, they're they're showing a trailer, and I, they sure. conf- it was confirmed. We can wait on that if you want, but yeah, they confirmed. See. Zack Snyder confirmed that Justice League will be a four hour miniseries. Each episode would be one hour long. That's cool. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be like a miniseries instead of a movie. So that's cool. That's that's interesting. Yeah, um, which I'm about that. I am very intrigued to see how, how they're gonna pull that off. Um, but yeah, they're talking about that right now. So before we end the episode, we, we might as well just. Uh, uh, yeah, is there anything you want to talk about while we're just chilling? Anything you want to bring up or just uh, mention or, or um, screw around with? It's our show. We can do whatever the fuck we want here. <laughs> I mean, D- okay. So yeah, DC fandom has been going on right now. You guys have probably been noticing me the entire episode looking to my left over here because I have two monitors. One, I have the notes, the show, everything that's going on right now that we had the plan to talk about, you know, everything. On my left, I have like Twitter and, and like Discord and a bunch of other shit, like keeping an eye on the, the DC fandom that is currently going on. I repeat, that is currently going on right now as we speak. Like there's gonna be stuff that comes out later today that we'll probably again we I mentioned that we mentioned that at the top of the episode. We'll talk about next next almost said next year, next week. <laughs> uh we definitely won't be talking about next year. That we'll be talking about the next. Well, we actually we will because Snyder Cut comes out next year. But anyway, yeah, I meant to say next week. We'll talk about it next week. That we won't get to this week. But we have some Snyder Cut happening stuff happening right now. I'm waiting. You know what I I find um, I often I often look to my right as well, and the reason I do that is because you're over here, and when I'm talking to somebody, I want to look at them while I'm talking to them, right? <laughs> so I'm like looking at you, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, oh, wait, I need to look at the camera or people are going to be like, I'm not paying attention to Daniel. The truth is, I'm paying super close attention to Daniel because he's speaking and I got, it's in my brain, hey, I need to show respect to this person by looking at them while they talk to me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, I've, I've been like, the entire this entire episode, I've been looking over here because I'm just like, I'm trying to get like, the, this is happening as, we, as we've been talking. So I'm trying to figure out like, what? Well, you know, like what, 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 what are we getting? I think we're, I think we're getting the trailer here. Uh, again, they, uh, they have, um, again, they confirmed that you know it's it's going to be a four hour miniseries. Um, I'm just waiting on this YouTube video to pop up or something. I've I, I've been refreshing YouTube this entire time, which is how I got the. Uh, 
you know, the Wonder Woman trailer and the uh, Suicide Squad stuff. And dude, I'll be honest, I'm like super looking forward to Gotham Knights. That looks fun, dude. It looks cool, yeah. That looks fun as hell. Also, um, they confirmed. I, again, this is probably something that people should have assumed and to begin with, but they confirmed that Gotham Knights is not in the oh. Arkham series universe. Here's the trailer. I got it. It's on Twitter, but I don't know if it's on YouTube yet. I see it. All right, I've been refreshing Twitter as well, but if you got it, uh, um, IGN free, just posted it. So feel free to put it up there. Let's see. Uh, we will play this. Feel free to put it up there. Oh, yeah. This. <laughs> Anybody reacting to this would definitely have to uh, <laughs> do it without sound. <laughs> oh, wow. That music. Mm hmm. Let's see, we're watching this. I have. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> How long is this trailer? Oh, two minutes thirty-seven. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a little it's a little beefy. It's so weird that this is happening. I just want to say how weird this is. That this is a thing. Do you remember when people were like, "Oh, the cider cut doesn't exist. It's never gonna happen." Yeah, it's never gonna happen. What is all this then, you fucking doubting ass haters? What is this? It, it's so strange. It's I'm I'm glad it exists, man. This is fucking. No, I, I'm though. not saying I'm not. It just seems so strange no, that yeah, it happened, no, no, right? I, yeah, no, I get you. Yeah, because yeah, it's cool, man. I I dig this. I'm just I'm glad there's gonna be a vision that, or a version of Justice League I can watch without has. 